Oh my god. Hello? Oh shit. Holy fuck. It is 12 o'clock at night. Um, I can't tell if the music is too loud or not. You're gonna have to tell me. Um, I'm not even on Koi SMP. <laughs> fucking playing noob like just told me to go on. I'm like working on a thing here. This is the pack PNG seed. I'm working on a fucking video, but you guys will like go live. So I'll, I'll finish this little bit up and then I'll fucking hop on the. Uh, tell me if the music's too loud, by the way. Why are you streaming after your bedtime? Because I'm in a Minecraft SMP and people are, um. Uh, the owner of the SMP server is away. And. So they can't whitelist more people, and everyone's like, "Oh damn, really wish I was on the server right now." <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna go on the server just to flex on them, and they're like, "Yeah, do it." <laughs> so I'm here, but yeah, I can. I was working on like a video where I like go back for old. Jesus Christ! Fuck, that was loud. I don't know if you guys got the audio for that, but goddamn, it was loud for me. Fuck. That happened while I was trying to record a thing as well. Scared the shit out of it. Um. Yeah, I was working on a thing where I like go to old um classic Minecraft worlds and shit for like YouTubers and stuff, and go and take photos and stuff. But I don't know if I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it yet. If I do commentary or not. But I'm doing a bit right now. Where, like after I take all the photos, bloody Steve Rock. But you see this character walking around in like replay mod, taking the photos, and this is the last one. I have the emotional fucking Minecraft music, takes the photo in the exact same framing as the pack fucking back framing as the pack PNG photo, and then turns around. It's like, oh, it's old Steve. I like made his. I made him old. Look, hold on, where is he? Took off every part of his skin except the part that mattered. There you go. He's like, got old hair and shit. He's an old man now. And he goes in there and he's got all these photos from all the worlds developed. But, um... Yeah, I've got fucking, uh... I need, I need suggestions of classic Minecraft. I didn't mean to delete that, whatever. Uh, I got Yoga Olympics there. I got Minecraft Marriage from Sly Fox out. I got, um... Uh... That one guy. Fucking Paul's Paul's uh, Junior, who did like the first like Minecraft, how to survive your first night video. Um, I'll be telling your mother about this. Just gonna take away your three three DS for staying up on a school night. Shut the hell up, Alchematic. I stream on a school night, except it's just Sunday for you guys. Well, no, no, it's still school night because you go to school the next day after Sunday. Is this crashed? It crashed. That's incredible. Okay, well... <laughs> I guess I'm running like Da Vinci and Chrome and Mod Roof and everything. No, I don't want Cobblemon. What the fuck? Get out of here. Yeah, well, you can see. Hold on, turn off the music. Didn't even know if you guys could hear that or not. But like... This is a pain in the ass to work with, but it's basically what I'm doing. Um... Yeah, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get on the server in a second. But, um... Like, yeah, this is the first, like, Minecraft Let's Play here. Paul Zod Jr. Got the exact same world. I go around, take photos and shit. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> yes. And there's his first hole that I remember very distinctly from the first time I watched this. It might have been the first video game 
video I ever saw on YouTube, and there's his hole there. Day. After that, we got fucking Yogscast's yeah, first time, sunny day. cave here. Nice. I found the old world safe for that as well. Take some photos and shit there. This is actually the old version I just realized. Yeah, I'm trying to be more on the same beat there. Yeah, I don't know if I'm even doing commentary for this or if it's just gonna be silent like Koi's, some of Koi's videos. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. There you go, it's fucking shots there. There he is in the snow. What's he looking for? He's looking for something. He's got a stake in his hand. Oh, what's that? It's a fucking. Yeah, he has the Yox cast's first base from the first Let's Play. That was like 7 million fucking views now. Architectural design here. There you go, up on the roof. I was thinking of putting a floor here, okay, of, of smooth. It's changed slightly because I think they worked on it more. There's me camping out in it. Well, and Steve. Then... You need the bot that sends messages from YouTube to Twitch and the other way around. I don't even think I'm getting any messages on Twitch. The only thing is on Streamlabs, uh, thing that I'm using. Yeah, you, you can see it yourself there. Um, I got a multi-stream. It doesn't, like, say something right now. It won't pop up here for some reason. Like, it only shows, like, half of the YouTube messages that even come up here for some reason. It should be showing YouTube and Twitch. So, I might be getting Twitch fucking shit, I don't know, because I have to stay on this one. Like, send a message, someone send a message right now, someone say something. Might pop up, might not. But, no, no, no. No one said anything. Okay, fuck yes. <laughs> Alright, I'll close all this and I'll get on the fucking something. There we go, what? I came in on Twitch. Oh fuck, never mind, what's the bot shit? <laughs> What's the bot that I'm supposed to have then? Ignore my background. <laughs> Send. Okay, maybe it is working now. It definitely wasn't before. I don't know. What's the fucking, what's the, what's the bot? I don't know. No one comes in on Twitch anyway. I just have that going because I got the trial for multi-streaming thingies. It also gives you sponsored stream opportunities, but I haven't looked into that yet. Did I just launch? I launched the right one. Okay. Oh, shit. I need to change my Minecraft skin back. No, stop launching. Shit. Gonna flex on all the haters that can't get onto the server. All the haters. He's obviously kidding. What's going on here? How long will it take someone to recreate Hyrule in fucking... What the hell's going on here? What is going on in that chat? Made extra Minecraft skins for the server? Oh shit. No. Stop. Stop. No! Ah! Fuck. That's old Minecraft. No. Get out of here. Um. Yeah, we got the two different Steves. That's my skin I've had for the past, like, forever. Um. But I decided to change it to a arguably worse skin, but it's just more in line with what's going on. Me being a tree man, so that's should be using now. I go back on mod branch, and it didn't update. Hey, I need all the people that were uh, unable to join this join the server in here, so I can just flex on real quick. Let me post it in the promotion ch uh, channel as well. Flexing on the non white listed right now. It's just <laughs> it's like a gated community. Okay, it is current then. Fuck. Huh? Play some music. Give me my music. I have no idea like how loud that is compared to my voice, I have no idea. Oh, you know what? I need to go to this one actually. That's awesome, okay. Um, 
What is going on right now? What is going on right now? Shit, I'm supposed to be flexing on everyone. It's not, it's not happening. It's a game vibe. Where is the game capture on? Just show it, show. Get rid of that. Source my fucking screen capture. That one, there we go. Start the launching, there we go. I don't know what skin I'm gonna have on, doesn't matter. I don't know what this- can you guys hear this music? I don't know what this is even playing. It's like video game music, but it's lo-fi. Oh, I just fucking... Alright, is anyone on the server? There's one person on the server. <laughs> Not much of a flex <laughs> to the people that aren't whitelisted yet. Like me? I am me. Go. Get all the shit off my screen. There you go. There you go. Someone said, do I have any builds on the server? That There it is. <laughs> it's my fucking giant stump. I didn't even get the Elijah. I was gearing up to go and get it, and then Rex Evil just gave me one. And like a bunch of like, you gave me, like, an Ender Dragon head and all this shit as well. The other flex is I actually have animals here. I found some sheep and horses and shit. I had some chickens, but they got blown up by a creeper. But I've started breeding sheeps and anim animals here. People to take for free, because apparently there's, like, a drought of any fucking life forms across the fucking server. Um, probably just because there aren't people on to have loaded chunks for stuff to spawn in. But, sometimes it gets packed in. Usually people come on in like an hour or so and then we have like six people in here. Yeah. What is he going for? There was nothing up there. Fuck out of my face. I don't know what that bee's going for. There's no flowers up there. He's like all the way up there. But yeah, fuck. It's so much nicer having an Elytra now. But I, de I deserve it. I've built all that. Oh, I know. It's broken. I might fuck. <laughs> oh my god, that's silk such. Damn, I hate this shit. You need to create a beehive, not gonna lie. I have a collection here. I could just do like a one giant beehive coming up, but I sometimes they have it on the ground. Just like a, just a big yellow mass just right there. You know, just more like that, you know. Um, this game and music. What's going on here? Up on the tree. I've, I've done that before on like a parkour map that I made and it was boggly. Alright, what the hell is going on? Why is a chat box only showing sometimes? What is going on? That's very strange. Um, hold on. Chrome. Should be hearing Chrome. It's not coming in on Chrome, that's real weird. Yes, it should be that, thank you. Not going. I don't know what's happening. Chat box should be showing off as well. That's because I got this, maybe. I don't really need chat boxes when the chat is literally on the right side of the screen anyway, but you know. Whatever. There we go, now I got your fucking lol on my screen. Alright, I was about- I was gonna pot around on here anyway, so... Must have just play as I normally would, but... I happen to be live. LOL. Oh, there it goes. Alright, do I have any... 
Right, where's, all, where's all the people that weren't whitelisted? I need them all in here so I can make them cry. Show them the beauty of this landscape, which I can't even show because my elytra is broken. What are the rules on the server? Uh... I don't know. It's probably just be nice. There isn't... This probably is just like no griefing. Yeah, like, like you can... Like, look, this is... Uh... Some British kid's house. My neighbor, like... There isn't protection block. Like, I can just break his house down. But you can... Also not... Open people's shit. Like, you can lock each other's stuff. Um, and you can make some stuff public. I've got like an apple tree outside of my house that's open for everyone to get. Um, I can keep breeding these so that when people join, they'll actually be animals for people to people to steal. But they keep running away up into the cherry forest. All right, I need some XP so I can fix my fucking elytra. Never mind, you already did it. What are you in a bit? Oh, break it. Yeah. <laughs> well. Um. What can I get XP from? I have a skeleton grinder on the other side of the world. Here's some photos I've taken. Need the auto mobility mod? The hell is that? Auto mobility. Whoa, I just moved my entire screen. Why is this chat box so fucking big? Wait, is that people watching on? No. Nah. <laughs> oh, that's what I was doing. Uh, flexing on people who aren't white listed. Alright, I need XP so I can fix my Elytra because I'm sick of climbing that ladder. I built all of this without an Elytra. Skull emoji. I just ruined the human vocabulary, that fucking skull emoji. You see anything but words at this point. Ah, uh, fuck, should I? Yeah, I don't get much XP for making stuff breed. I could just break some blocks down here. Ah, fuck it, I'll just kill some stuff and never. Skull emoji. I, I, it's like half of Instagram, all the comments on any video you see, it's just like... N-word thought this that, or like... Bro thought this skull emoji. <laughs> the other streamer, homie. Like, game wizard. I forget, like, because a lot of us in the server stream, I forget, like, who streams, I can't keep track of it. <laughs> I'm just fun to just play, like, copyrighted music. I guess it doesn't matter since this isn't, um, like, I usually don't monetize these streams anyway. Uh, did it heal a little bit? It did. Okay, I need to, it's just gonna fall into a hole. I need to find some shit to kill so I can fix my elytra a bit. What's my cat doing? My cat's just jumped around. Alright, can you hear that um, music well enough? Loud enough? Or too loud? I can't hear what y'all are hearing, so... I have no idea. Ow. No idea. There's a little bit of lag on the server, but it might also just be... Me. With my subpar computer. Is that a good volume? That is very lucky. Usually is not. Damn. Alright, give me this XP. Fix my shit up. I... What is that? It's a butterfly. Fucking... I was on the server, like, ages ago when it first started. And I went over into the never over there, and it's like these pipe things. I don't know what the hell they are. I can't even say them. Yeah, like, this pipe stuff. And I died and lost, like, a whole inventory of shit, and I was like... Alright, I'll come back later. And I didn't join like a month or two. And it almost happened again, but I decided to do my tree. And the rest is so sweet. Ugh. Seems like a fortress. Yeah, it's a normal for fortress, but these bits here 
I like, there's like pipes. But there's like fucked up weird blazes and shit on them. It's like actually scary. Well, there's someone we can kill. Did he just... I felt like he just spawned on me. Ow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> MLG. <laughs> it's probably a good thing that there isn't PvP on the server, because I don't think it'd be very sustainable. There's like just the wrong amount of lag for it to not really work. But it's really not that big an issue. It's mostly just need you... When you join, you just need to mess around with the, um... Rendering. Like, the render distance and the distant horizon shit. Because sometimes you'll, like... Notice. And I noticed this when I was filming. There was, like, one part of a hill. Where if I cross, like, one block, you just get, like, a massive lag spike. Because it's loading, like... I know, like, a new level of chunks. But it's a bit silly like that. Alright. The elytra's a little bit fixed up. Down there, there's my portal to my, um, skeleton farm. But, I made the skeleton farm, like, spent so much time doing it, literally just so I can do the tree faster, and it was not faster with the fucking bone farm. Fastest thing was just to cull a tree and have it automatically grow back and cull it again. Probably chopped down the same forest like 15,000 million times. Yeah. Bloody, um. I try to, um, usually stream for like an hour or two. I stream every Monday. Doing other stuff. I've been streaming, um, Pokemon Emerald. Nuzlocke, but like I have to draw the Pokemon in order to catch them. And my mate has to guess what it is. Um, I have like limited time to draw them, all this other shit, but I usually try to stream for like maybe two hours, but that last stream was eight and a half hours long, I think, um, which is the same length as the PS, the Sims PSP streams I was doing, but I was watching a maid, uh, Patch, who fucking streamed yesterday and today for 12 hours straight playing fucking, uh, Sly Cooper. Um, and his voice by the end, like, I, he was gone when I went to bed, I woke up, did a workout, he was still going, and by the time I joined, his, his voice was, like, breaking. <laughs> he was just, like, so fucking tired. Uh, can you kill? No, you can't kill other people. Uh, believe me, I've tried. Well, you can't hit other people, but there was, this is, kid, I forget his name, the British kid lives next to my tree. And he kept climbing up and putting bread all over it, so... When he was up on top of my tree, I took a branch out from under him and killed him a couple times. I led him out to like a little... Nerd bridge. With a diamond and then just culled him. Beat Kush? What? Reverse Pigeon. British kid. Oh, British kid. I'm Deal. I've got the... DLC British. Actually, I, does anyone know where Koi is from? I think he's American, but I was watching one of his videos just a minute ago and he sounded for a second like he could be a fellow Australian. I was like, surely not. Australians are not that well spoken. But it was like one thing that he said that I had like a little bit of a lilt and I was like, what? He is British? I mean, no, he is not. Okay. Yes, he... <laughs> he is not. DLC British, so Australian, yeah. <laughs> you get... You're, you're picking up the spit that I'm flapping. You're reaching to the... Quite, that's not what that means. I don't remember what the other terms. Alright, my last is pretty much... I'll just kill these guys. And I'm just gonna keep building my fucking tree. <laughs> Besides the funny request, I like the Sims 2 PSP video. It was pretty good. What was the funny request? Oh, can you do slash kill? Right. <laughs> I didn't even take that as a request. I took it as a question. Uh, thank you. That video was too long. I should have put that out in two parts, I think, but... Oh, well. But, um... I actually had to re-release it because the I had to boost the audio. 
So it had like 7,000 views, and then I had to re-upload it, and now it's back up to like 8,500 views or something like that. So it's actually at 15,000, but no one knows. That's our little secret. Now make it tw last 24 hours next time. <laughs> I feel like there's a threshold of like, if a video is like 2 to 15 minutes, it's safe. If it's a, like 20 minutes to like 50 minutes to or like 20 minutes to like an hour, it's like, nah, that's too long, people won't watch it. And then like, if a shit is like an hour and a half above, it goes back to being safe again. Like, that's what I tend to find. Like, I've watched, like, hour and a half longs, like, Pokemon videos and shit. I even like Pokemon as well. Well, not especially. Like, I'll watch something if it's, like, you know, 2 to 15 minutes, but not above that. And then, if it's, like, an hour, I'll watch that. There's, like, there's a little sweet spot in there. Which is a bit silly. Let me, um, let me go out for this way. Oh yeah, we have, um, animal mob mods, so there's a fucking tortoise right here. I forget how you breed them. Actually, it might be cactus. I've got two tortoises at home, and I bred them, and they're like three eggs, and they all fucking died. There we go. Um, yeah, so if you go, if any of you guys join the server, if you go through that portal, you follow these, um, slabs going up the hill here, and you'll get to the skeleton farm that I made. What the hell? What the fuck? What is that? Oh, it's a floating island. But it's just in this little hole. I covered it up because I was gonna like monopolize it. Like keep it private, but I decided not to. But she's down here. There's a fuck ton of arrows and junk. Actually, I should make that. Hold on, how do I? I don't think. I don't. I don't remember how you unlock stuff. There's a way. Wait, what the fuck? This is like a video game playlist. I was playing the Adventure Time thing. I don't know video game. Well, I guess it is. Did that just... I thought my Elisha broke like immediately. I was gonna cry. Impressively. Something just shot at me. So yeah, there's like two deserts. This is one of them. And then there's another one like down here. I think that's where Koi lives. It's like beyond that way. What is happening with the generation? I stuff like a land bridge. Where's my fireworks? There we go. That's my back. <laughs> I just got that out of it. I just pulled that out of a creative inventory. There we go. We got lions and giraffes and shit. There isn't any like safari nets or anything like that though, so I. Someday I'm going to try to get all the animals to my tree. Oh, you can see it from all the way over here. <laughs> Let's go. Hold on, let me land. Uh, let me land on there. Okay. Well, there is voice chat as well, but I haven't... The only person I've seen use it is the British kid. And I was like, building and like listening to some video about like, some horror novel or some shit. And then he just came up and just like, went, star. Just get the fuck out of me. Um, alright. Can I... Yeah, so this is like your... Limit. So if I turn that up, you can see already it started redoing it. You can press reload your shaders. And it's got a big fucking hole in the middle of it for some reason. Some house over there. I don't know who lives there. I have no idea. Please show Koi's crib. I'll try to find it. She lives... Hold on. See, it happened. I was saying that when I'm, I'm on the multi-tab... Oh, fuck it. Look. When I'm on this tab here, it shows this chat. The last messages I saw was... Must be 24 hours. Go back to YouTube. All these messages I've missed because that... I don't know what the fuck's going on there. I need to fix that. Leave this dump there. Koi needs a live stream. I bet he will. Sort of red desert in the northeast. Um, hold on, let me find if I can find because there's a map that we can all access. Is it like blue map? What's it called? Oh, Bluey. How do you? There's like a map that you can get to. 
I ain't gonna be mean. What? I ain't gonna be mean. I ain't gonna be mean. I ain't gonna be mean. What? Is he having a hold back from bullying me? What's going on? What was it called? There's like a map thing you can use. Oh, I'll find my history. Uh, I don't know. I'll just show my history on stream. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Is it like. That's what's called like blue something. It is blue map, it just didn't come up. Okay. Here we go. Koi lives west of the town of the farmlands. I'm gonna be Ron Swanson and hate governments. I haven't met anyone on the server yet who I fought who gave me the vibe of wanting to start a government on the server. Alright. I like that the server's not even, tr like, square. It's like a fucked up rectangle. Um, yeah, you can see other people in here as well, which is fucked. So I'm there. There's somebody. He was in the town that I was just at. Weird thing is, you can... I'll click right here. Press this little button. And it's like, street view. So I can see he's hiding out in this little dude's house. You just creep on people. <laughs> Look, you can move it around too. So you can't see him in live. But you can see his head right here. He's right here. You can do that with everybody. But I think Koi lives... Over there? Oh shit, I'm not showing the map on screen. Okay, hold on, let me just... Fuck. Alright, I'm turning that thing off. Um, then we're going... Move all of this stuff above that. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, I'm going this way. That's how we're gonna do it now. I was showing such revolutionary shit. Alright, we don't need the chat box. The chat's on the right, though. Um. God damn it. Okay, now you guys can see. Um, let me go back to... Yeah, so there's the map. You can see right there. Get rid of that text. I oh, called you a pie? Who called me a pie? What? Do you call me a pie? Who the hell? What the fuck? Someone's talking shit. Alright, so yeah, you can see the map here on this website. And there you can see where people are. There's me. I can see somebody. I can just click on where he is. Click this little thing here. And go on a street view. I don't know why why is it moving? I can't control what what's happening? Holy fuck. Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I can just click on his name, and I know now that he's in this villager house, so he's just bunking out in there. And that's live, so if he if he moved, you could see it, like, in live time. So that's the skeleton hole that we just came from. But uh, it's over here somewhere. But I think Koi lives over here somewhere or here maybe we could try to find them um so i'd have to go east across this desert so yeah there's my tree drone mode for real constant acceleration to the cs console moment <laughs> Fuck, I can play I haven't played that in a while. <laughs> Alright. I can try to find Koi's house. I don't know. I haven't actually seen the house though. Fucking giant snails. By the way, y'all remember Mo Creatures, that animal mod that was good and you could like every animal had like a use and you could tame everything. Like snakes and shit, you could breed them. That's a ruin here. Oh, it's a chest. It was like the best animal mod, and they don't do it anymore. Um, and now this thing, Alex's mods, I think this is what the mod mod is called. Um, it's like the, it's like the go-to one now, but it fucking kind of sucks because 
they're in the pockets of Mojang. They've made like, there's probably like 10 animals in this mod. Um, but, oh, there's someone's house here. But the, there's like another like 90, but it's locked behind the um, Minecraft bedrock add-on thing. Because they like officially make add-ons for them now. So it's like pretty much jack shit in the normal <laughs> mod. So, fuck, I, I miss my creatures so bad. It's like sharks and tigers, you breed horses, make fucking werehorses and shit. And unicorns and pegasus. It's crazy. There's a termite nest that Mojang was supposed to add. Some more. Wait, what? Are those different types of tortoises? No. Wait, what? These turtles. No, that's a tortoise still. Turtles are fins. There's another ruin here. Anything in it? Looks like someone was digging it recently. Oh, looks like I've been here before, actually. Oh, so... I keep going this way. That was a villager. If you keep going this way, I think you can find Koi's place. I haven't actually been... It's that Ludwig's Island. Someone made a poster of me and him. They like streamed him like going into Blender. And he like made a render of me in the fucking me jumping off the tree. Doing the um fall of what's his fucking name? Oh there's Kakan Pino. He's on usually. You should go find the tiki bar in the middle of the ocean. I didn't even know that existed. That's such a thing. Well, this is a good place for one. Wait, is this... I don't know where Koi lives. There's another random ship out here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was loud as fuck. Thank you, Eric Hayes. It's not the Dyne map? What the hell's the Dyne map? I'm on the blue map, what is Dyne map? The Tiki Bell. Oh, someone's shit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. God, that sub sound thing is so fucking loud to scare the crap out of it. My camera. Um, I just called Dyne Map instead of Blue Map. Used to be Dyne Map. Oh, wait, so you can see it on the Blue Map. I thought it was like a different thing or something. Okay, so I'm here now. Back in Pino's over there. In the marketplace, my tree is that big fucking brown thing. So I'm here. Where is. Uh, where is it? Is it? There's an island here. Some building on it. Tiny little dot in the water to my northwest. Not that? Is it this? What does Koi SMP mean? I'm illiterate. Uh, <laughs> SMP. Oh, thank you, Captain Pino. Uh, SMP is like I forget what the anagram is or the acronym, but it's just like a Minecraft, like a private Minecraft server, kind of. Um, and there's another YouTuber called Koi Boy, who started this SMP and invited me to it like three months ago. Um, and there's a whole Discord with like 2,000 people in it. Um, and Koi is on a holiday right now and can't let more people onto the server manually, so I'm just flexing on them right now. Streamer multiplayer or survival multiplayer? Oh, there you go. Um, it's kind of funny. Math is like a usual, uh, audience member, chat member, from like my regular stuff, probably is from The Sims, uh, dealio. And now I have a crossover of Koi SMP Minecraft people and Sims people. So I forgot, was this gonna be like turf war going on? That was a lizard. There's a fuck ton of cows there. Okay, that's where I can find some cows. Is it really this far away? 
Wait, what? Wait, what? That's not the... Is that Koi's house? Wait, what? That's not Koi's house, is it? It's like right near my house. I thought Koi's house would be... That dot that I saw before. Is that really the house? They moved. Oh. I could have just gone home. Oh, fucking damn it. I've got the waypoint, I can see. Oh yeah, there's spawn. There's my fucking big ass tree that I've been building. Go north and you'll find his first house. Okay, so his first house is in the ocean over that way, and now boy has moved. Over here apparently, which I didn't even know. Sky Island that like nobody's built anything on. It's just a chest. Really want to know who's the owner of that black building under the construction near the direct northern tower? I really want to know. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh! Wait, I'm not- I might know what you're talking about actually. I mean, this is a trading port. I haven't actually walked around in here. It's like my house is right there in that big ass tree. I haven't actually like fully walked around in here yet. I remember that I like, got to set up a marketplace, and I think I made a reservation to have a spot, but <laughs> that I didn't go back on the server for like a month. So I'm gonna fly through this. Skilled. Whoa. Big ass castle thing going on. Whoa! Ow. Wait, so. Oh, I went past. Wait. Oh, is this thing Koi's house? It's a chicken. Oh my god, there's deers and shit. I need those in my fucking forest. I'm trying to be all Tom Bombadil for tree forest wizard coded. I. Legit didn't know that this was Koi's house. This has been next to my house. I, I'm just there. I've seen this before. I didn't know that this was where Koi lived. God damn it. Damn, this is not an emerald in there. I just pick up a little bench here you can sit on. Take some good ass photos. I got a real? Nope. I have no film in this thing. Great. Damn. It's literally, I'm not that very good at building, and when I joined back, I saw people in the Discord. The Discord. People in Discord, like, sharing these, like, really nice, ornate houses and shit. Even this one over here is nice. Um, I think that's. Mm, I don't remember his name. But I was like, I can't build shit like that. I'm just going to build the sh biggest thing that everyone's going to be able to see with this um, Distant Horizon spot <laughs> instead because it can't build properly. It's got a whole villager thing here. Yo, I could have been going to these people for mending and shit. How many librarians does he want? Just get an enchanting table. Looney Tunes ass pronunciation of Discord. <laughs> yeah, Discord. Fucking Bugs Bunny on Discord. Such a fletch what is going on? Rare strength. So you got better that's a better bow than what I've got. He's got like an entire like just village here. Oh, they're piercing. Slow falling. Why do some of these have positive effects? There are so many! Wait, I didn't open these. I didn't open that door. I think these guys are supposed to be organized. Oh, I know. They can open doors. I don't know. What the hell, then? There's so many people in here. What the fuck? He's abducted like a million villagers. He claustrophobic by proxy. Yeah, exactly. It's just Fletcher. Oh no, there's farmers over here too. 
These guys look claustrophobic. What is this? Is this like a farm farm? What are these things? Wait, hold on, you can do, do a big jump. There we go. Hi. What is this? It's locked. I am farm, but there's no... There's no golems. Oh. Oh, wait. That's funny. Hoppers aren't locked. Okay, it looks like it is an iron farm, though. I didn't know you could build one this compact. Yeah, the water's nice. Look at that shit. Oh, shit. Uh, I want to break his farm. <laughs> okay. Huh. What the hell? I mean, I'll take it. I don't have any iron. Last time I built an iron farm, it had to be like all the way up there. It had to be like a huge, like, tower. We're gonna have to bring that up with Koi. Nah. Nah, you don't have to do that. Nah. You know, you could, you could just, I don't know. You, could, you could just like not. Uh, I'm sure you wouldn't mind. Not sure you, People want the hoppers getting joint? No. Yeah, this sounds annoying. Yeah, probably not. Eh? Yeah. Sucks. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Biology. I'll stop right there. It's fine. I live over here, so. He'll probably still be making iron while I'm at home. I hope. He's gonna come home, there's gonna be no iron. <laughs> nah, this chest would be full. He, he's fine. The only, wait, the only reason that hopper that had high iron in it is because that chest was full. I legit didn't know that this was Koi. I've been looking at this this whole time. Wait, a barrel's locked? Barrel's locked, but hoppers aren't. Oh, that's why the... Um, my god, track goes here. It goes like past my house down here. Right. Makes sense. Whoa! This is the elitist, um, hot air balloon that only people with lighters can get to. <laughs> oh, tubsy tubs here. Yeah, see, people just join like when it's like one o'clock in the morning. Have you already shown off your house? I have not. Um, I'm gonna start working on it in a second anyway. But, it's this. <laughs> As I said, I can't build nice things like that. I keep pressing that fucking button! I can't build nice things like that house up there. So I was like, I'm just gonna make the biggest thing. So it makes up for it. And yet, <laughs> some of these branches are a bit how you go on. Th these ones are okay, these newer ones, but like, before, it was just like, this looked like ass because it was stumpy, I fixed it a bit. Yeah, and these ones are all just right at the top. <laughs> so I need to do some more big branches, and then put the leaves on. Why is there a bee up here? It's in a fucking stratosphere. There's nothing here for you. I always really liked the, um, look of this house over here, though. Like, this area is really nice. Some turnips growing in. I forget who lives here. I don't think they've been on in a while, but I appreciate just the look of this being here that I can see from my house. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> you can't not see my house. <laughs> Fuck. I don't even know how big it'll be in the end as well, because that's just where the branches are starting. <laughs> That is a naturally spawning structure that has, um, items in it. You can get some diamonds in that thing. That's very funny. <laughs> it's the most useless builder, so just become the most annoying instead. Uh. Bounce off, pal. There's also this house here that, I don't know who lives it. Wait, there's a sign. Slater's site. 
I don't know who that is. I've never seen them on. This nice little pink cherry house. It's still under construction. He's... Oh, he's connected. Alright. Time to clear my inventory. I keep building my tree. I need to get as much of it done before, uh... Before he gets back, like, tomorrow and adds more people to the server. I need to, I need to be ready to flex on everyone who's coming in late. At least he made a tree. Made it a tree. You could have, like, made an obelisk eyesore. Yeah, it's, like, got rough indents and stuff around it. So it's been just straight. I at least did that. I don't have any. Oh, I can't be bothered. Um, okay. That's where my wood is. Chuck all this in there. I got some bottles of enchanting. I'll put them in my backpack, actually, so I can fix my elytra on the go. Okay, did you guys eat this? Yes, you do. Alright, fuck. Make, make, make fuck. Have a big fuck. The pictures are cute. Yeah, because this is like a selfie stick there as well. We got the um, camera mod here, but I don't have any film that is uh, ready to go. Although, I have a bunch of pictures on these other films of um, the progress of the tree, so maybe I should make one to keep it up. But I need two lapis. Gold nugget. Uh, bah, 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 bah. It's turning night, so I'm gonna sleep because people keep blowing up shit. Creepers, I mean. Um. Whoa. One second. Turn my fan on. All right, so it's gold nuggets and lapis. I don't have nuggets somewhere. Ugh. What the hell are those? Bombs, I got bombs. So, probably better watch it. If he ever finds out that I it's totally dying. Um, and then iron nug, and two bars. I think I've got those in here, yeah. yeah. Oh shit, an egg. Uh, Last time these guys made eggs, they died, so I don't, I don't actually know how to make sure it doesn't die. But they're there now. Move items. There we go. Wait, can you guys breed again? These guys have no... No waiting time. One of my turtles names? <laughs> I don't even know. They've been set there forever. I just never named them. I didn't even think about that. I have some horses outside that are named. Wait, I have a name tag here. I can name one of them. Uh... Mm, morph, 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 morphing. Nah, uh, can you name one Bruce? Bruce. That one. That's Bruce. Alright, sit down. You know, I think it's these guys follow you, so I can't just have them like free roaming around the forest. Because my goal is to just have this forest, like no fences or anything, but just have a fuck ton of animals everywhere. People to come and grab. Some sheep up there. Because the rest of the server is just barren of any life. But I don't want to like keep stuff in pens and stuff. Because I'm the forest. I'm like co cosplaying the fucking forest wizard. Can you sit please? Get off my chest and sit. I don't want you following me. But I'll just see if I get some giraffes and shit. Sit down. Sit. Give it just like. There. Just laid another egg up there. I don't know how to make sure these don't die. Uh, what's this mod, mod called? Wise Druid Error? Yeah. I love that word. Druid goes on. Backstabbing. But here we go. I can load up a new thing here. I've got my spyglass. Add a... Look at that. There you go. Now I can take some pickies. In fact, let's take a... I just took a photo of nothing, that was a wasted space, god damn it. Let's take a photo of it from disguise. So I was taking it from this point right here. My progress photos. That's like an aerial one as well. There we go. Ow. 
The fuck? How's it almost broken already? Oh, because it needs unbreaking. It's got mending. I need to steal somebody else that's unbreaking. Uh, fuck. That's she. Nice. Wandering trader. Oh god, alright. Do I have an unbreaking book? That's probably the first thing I should do. It's gonna need to be able to fly around to, to do some of this shit. Oh, I've got these. Whoa. Alright, um. So excited to like, actually add floors and organize my space here as well. It's gonna be so fucking nice. Um, go. Uh, I'm breaking. Do I have any unbreaking books? I don't even have an enchanting table. I'm essentially poor, but I just stole a bunch of shit from a bunch of random buildings. World buildings, not player buildings. Um, I don't know what that is. It's just nothing. Efficiency, efficiency, protection. Uh,. Backstabbing. What have we got in here? Bunch of fucking nothing. Great. Uh, Stop. I from cotton. What? I don't know what I was talking about. Um, what's this? Useless. Okay. Um, I don't think he had an armor smith that I could buy and breaking from. What's that sword? Oh, the, um... That one. Zephyr. Uh, killing enemies gives a short stacking bonus to movement speed. Um, I found it in a chest somewhere. There's a couple... Well, maybe I should have had it open. Yeah, it broke my bed. Still have my elytra, my backpack. For some reason, so I can just fly on back, I guess. I didn't know there were capybaras. Okay. Well. Can you put animals in a minecart? Can I steal this fucking pig? That came out of nowhere. I'm just trying to act like that didn't happen. I don't have any minecarts. Do I have any iron in this? No. A bucket. I closed up for two seconds. I was looking in my chest. A creeper blew me up. Like I'm just gonna have to fly back. I love that you can see it from so far away. If I fix the settings, it probably wouldn't have that fucking hole in it as well. Whoa! The all man stuff. Creeper. Oh man. Did anyone else think that when he starts rapping in that song? That that was like somebody else, like he brought in a rapper to do that. It's it's just him, it's still just Captain Sparkles. What's going on with generating shit? What's that horse doing? It's a fucking mountain goat. There we go. Alright, well at least your elytra stays on you for some reason. And your backpack. Sparkles only did the rap part? He did both parts, he sung and rapped it, didn't he? Pretty sure he did. Okay, well... Oh yeah, that's the thing. Creeper holes to heal themselves as well. So I guess I have an extra bed now. And all my stuff didn't go away... Wait. Oh. All the pictures have flown off the wall. My item frames are up here. Um... The only thing is, with healing creeper holes, it can bury a grave sometimes. There we go. What's my last doing? Try Hard Ninja did the vocals? No, we didn't! Really? Hold on. I, I backwards get- I, I thought that I was gaslit. Gas lit. And I, I in fact was, but I was a gaslit by the opposite of what I thought. I, I backwards gatless gaslit myself. Surely not. Captain... Motherfucking spot. Just... Where you go? Oh, man. There it is. 
Oh yeah, he updated it like two weeks ago as well. That's him saying that. No, that's him singing, isn't it? Oh, what? I don't know if I've ever heard his actual voice. His name's Jordan, isn't it? I've just been- I've actually just been ga- What? It's all just fucking- What? What the f fuck am I looking at? What is this? What are those things? I literally thought that that was Captain Sparkles. My brain is telling me why is Captain Sparkles singing about the amazing digital circus. Are you serious? Lead vocals, try hard to- Oh my fucking god. What? That's actually blowing my mind. What about the Fallen Kingdom one? Was that hit? Was that a track? Was that? What? <laughs> what? My childhood. Try. What? Try and Ninja sung for this too. I should. This world is available for download. I should include that in my video. It just wrote. What? What? I thought he was singing. I started this by saying, hey, you guys are stupid for thinking he rapped. In fact, he sucked. He did rap. And he didn't sing. It was the other way around. D what? Did he sing any of them? He's got a good lyrical mind. What? Is it all just try? What? I remember this one. This one was huge when this came out. Take back tonight. I. It wrote. It written by. Tr I'm gonna headbutt a nail. I can't believe this. I. No, that's. <laughs> my life is over. I literally thought that was Captain Sparkle singing. I'm so upset. Uh, expand it. Someone's talking about lore on the Discord. So I'm going to say I'm doing lore on the stream right now. I'm, I'm so upset about that. I actually thought this Captain Sparkles and it isn't. The pick I made is still your background? Yeah, I haven't had a chance to replace it. It's also like the best... It's among the best images on my computer. I was gonna change it back to Lissa's art that she did for me doing the JoJo walk. I probably will, but this one survived for quite a while. And that was a collaboration. I did some of that. You just fixed it up. What was I doing? I was looking for an unbreaking book for my Elytra so I don't just break it. I'm What's it? Peased? I'm pleased. Hmm. Power. Hey, 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 hey. Um, do I have an enchanting table? I think I might have stolen one. I did. I haven't made any of my equipment, by the way. I just like took all of this from other stuff. Wait. Hmm. What? What might? Could this be the start of? It's gonna say something I don't like. Wensleydale? Fuck no. No, this ain't Wensleydale. Wensleydale's anywhere but my forest. This is the star fields or something, I don't know. We need to figure out how to put names on uh, regions of the map on the blue map thing. This ain't fucking Wensleydale. Wensleydale's... This is star fields. Wensleydale's like fucking... Here. Yeah. That's Wensleydale. Who would... Fucking... Just try to eat an enchanting table. Yeah, Wensleydale can fucking be right there. I should subscribe. Should I? I should subscribe and jump scare stream. Should subscribe. You shouldn't jump scare me. 
No, Wesley Dale ain't where I'm living. This ain't Wesley Dale. I don't give a damn about your weird British cheese. Where's the spawn on the map? It's... Where is it? It's like here? Here. It's right here. These four little blocks here, that spawn. We had a build challenge at one point. I think they're planning on doing like more challenges and stuff, but spawns here. There's a minecart track that goes all the way. Comes into my forest here. Um, bone farm we got here. And there's an end portal right here. There's another one all the way up at the top of the map. Where it looks like someone's built something. Um, you can also check the motherfucking blue map to see everything. Including where other people are. So I can see that Kak and Pino is in that other guy's house right now. Unless he lives there. Look, Tubsy Tubs in his phallic castle here. Let's have a look at it. I love that you can just... <laughs> it just docks everyone pretty much. What the hell? Oh yeah, you can place books and you don't have to place down uh, bookshelves. I see you, Tubsy Tub. Maybe a little TP castle. I think I suggested a name for it. He was like, no. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. It was like Cockland or something equivalent to that. Something nice and highbrow. Um, alright, I need to... I don't have any levels to even enchant anything. God damn it, bro. I might just need to, like, try to not use my elytra as much as possible. Unless someone help. Someone got an unbreaking book I can buy. Book I can buy. Is that a giant tree? You flippin' know it. I can't build nice buildings, so I thought I decided to build the biggest one on the server. There you can see from spawn. Not done yet. Gonna be working on it in a second. But big ass tree, indeed. And my little forest have grown. This was all like desolate before I got here. No animals. There's no animals on anywhere on the server. But I'm tr I'm gonna try to have as many animals in this whole area here, so that when the new people join, they can just take uh take as many animals as they want, because it is dead everywhere. Like, you can't see nothing out here. But. I, it makes me very happy that you can literally just see my fucking big ass tree. No animals, how do we get animals? Well, everyone has killed them. The server has been up for like two or three months. Um, but it just sort of started popping up like this month. Um, but yeah, I think everything's just pretty much dead. At least over in this side of the map. In the desert and on the savannah, there's like lions and giraffes and capybaras and shit. Snakes and lizards. But... This, there was a couple of people that were like desperate trying to find a uh, couple of cows or sheep or something. Um, so I've got sheep and i got horses. Free for the taken for the newbies. There you go. Alright, where am I? I'm at mid tree. What do you want for it? Second. It's already almost broken again. I'm so... Why is it so fragile? It's like end game. There's also a limited amount of elytras, but I think they um, put some more back in the end. Because there is like a world border. A single iron ingot? What? What a steal. A, ro a robbery. A heist. A heist. Full healer, then put unbreaking on it. I'll like do it afterwards. Oh yeah, I probably should. Where'd it go? It's a moment toy. Alright. Still gonna photo right up in his face. Oh, hold on, since I'm so rich with iron that I totally didn't steal, I'll <laughs> give him a whole stack. There we go. What the hell is all this shit? Hit like a million other things on this. What? He literally took one iron ingot. What the hell? 
What a gentleman. What? One ironing. What? I just ro I've robbed two people today. One of them wasn't my fault, though. Picture title. Look at the top of his head meme. Huh? Oh, like the picture of Willem Dafoe doing like the in Van Gogh's just looking up at the cameras. Kakin Pina is a real one. He is a real one. Now I got a photo of him that I can put here. Don't know if that's is that him? Yeah, that's him. That's the other guy. Um. Well, I need to heal this thing first. Maybe I should go spelunking or something. Oh wait, I can cook a bunch of stuff. Uh, cooking stuff gives you XP. Do I have a blast furnace? Nope. That gave me a little bit of XP. Oh, shit, I need to equip it. Break. God damn it. Uh, do I have coal? I'm like cosplaying as someone who's rich in my giant fucking wooden thing. I've basically got nothing. I got a million sticks from all the trees I've been cutting down. I can cook with that. There we go. Oh, uh, God. Um, some carrots here. Oh, yeah, there's like seasons. So it's summer right now. I didn't even know that. Me and my girls here. Anyway. Um, there is a... Um, I'm starting to realize I'm a bad, bad man. There's a... Uh, there's a big, like, crop farm over there. I... I, like, took some stuff from it and replanted it because it's a huge farm. I was like, no one noticed. And then someone came on, like, half an hour later. I was like, who took all my potatoes? I was like, oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Weird. But I'm li I was literally just about to go over there again, but I'll feel bad now. Because I'm going to get caught. <laughs> just... Can we see the map again? Uh, there you go. I'll share the link here. I'll send it. There you go. I can't pin it. Can somebody else send a message? This stupid emoji thing gets in the way. There we go. Pin that message. There we go. Now you can check the map yourself. Oh, I forgot to put my music back on. Whoa. Yep, there it is. Nice big old rectangle. For some reason. Unless that's just undiscovered. These chunks just might not be loaded, actually, but it might be just like, it is a rectangle, but there's some edges here that haven't been explored yet. Um, Kakin Pino is in where I was going to heist myself some potatoes. Uh, well, I think I'll make some golden carrots instead, because now people are going to be like, oh, what happens to potatoes? They're going to check my stream, I'm just full on, like, straight up evidence right there. Um, I have some gold, I think, don't I? I haven't mined anything. I've just stolen... I, you don't need a mine on the server. You just need to explore and survive. Okay, my supply isn't... Great, feel free to harvest. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the first site. <laughs> Am I getting... <laughs> I feel like I'm getting, like, extra rights because I just happen to be streaming. I got a, I got an Unbreaking 3 book for one iron bar. Now I'm being allowed to rob a potato farm. <laughs> just because I'm streaming. I think, at least. My farms have been spread so many times. Well, I did one of them. I'll tell you that much. Is the server mostly doing a trade system with other players? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's been a bit of trading. Not a ton. I'm also not on at the most popular times, because I'm in Australia and the time zones are different. Um, yeah, there's people have been trading. People, like, traded livestock and stuff. And this area over here, eh, over here, is supposed to be, like, a trading place at some point. I don't think we have a shop. 
Well, there goes my alliance choice. We have a shop mod installed so you can set up your own shops, I think. But I haven't messed with it yet. But I'm pretty sure I've made a reservation to get myself one of these buildings you can see here. What is this? Get out of my inventory. Onion. Hmm. I just really like these blocks. Everyone knows you get streamer perks in exchange for a larger RNG range for all streamer content. Streamer content. Yeah, like Dream when he accidentally left a mod on that gave him more intel drops. Yeah, there's um cabbage tomato, there's fucking beetroots in the game, but default actually that's vanilla. Shouldn't be, but it is. Um, yeah, we got more crops, we got like animals, we got giraffes and fucking lions and shit, turtle, toitus. Um, there's some different trees as well. They also added in all the stuff that Mojang hasn't added from mob votes, a biome update, so it's like actually termite hills and um, stuff like that. I forget what the other shit is, there's some lettuce there. What's that? That's bee tree, I think. Yeah, one of these buildings I think was supposed to, I was supposed to buy, but I haven't done that yet. But if I could find the potatoes, I can cook them, and I can get XP from cooking them. Repair my elytra. I think that might be no, it's carrot. Seems so serene. It is really nice, especially with um these shaders on and these like sound mods on too. I think these are. I haven't actually used any of these before. I mean, you can attach these to a horse. They're fully like spin around and stuff. I haven't used any of that stuff yet. I've essentially explored and died and robbed and built this tree. But when we get to um, decorating the inside of the tree, I'm fucking, I'm so keen for it because there are so many, this like chipped mods, so there's a bunch of different variants of every single block. And there's a bunch, there's all these extra decorations. Cupboards and chairs and plushies. I got one on my head. Lamps and all these kilns, candles, all sorts of just clutter. These plants, cactuses. I sell that at EB Camps. That honeycomb lamp. All this stuff. So I'm super keen uh, to get a wriggle on on this tree. That's wheat. Oh. What's that one? That's carrots. Where's the bloody hell's potato? <laughs> this is like the nicest... This might be the nicest place on the map at the moment. Here's a potato. This has all been replanted. Um, this is all grown. Alright, Kakan Pino. I'm gonna Kakan yummy down on these potatoes. I don't know if using those like harvester wagons like give you more or something. Poison potato, let's go. Holy shit, I got so much potatoes. Got like three sacks, that'll give me plenty of XP. Boiler mash. <laughs> I know what you're talking about because I'm used to, um, when I was still delivery driving Chinese food, I used to. Just do impressions and talk to myself and sing. And that bit from Lord of the Rings is probably the bit that I did the most. <laughs> the fucking when um What the hell? Seldom music is trippy. Um Which one which that's the second one? Or is that the first one? No, it's the second one. I think it's the second one. I don't remember. I watched the Director's cuts which are like fucking 15 million years long. I have a actually, I have um, me and my girlfriend got into Magic the Gathering literally because we we're fans of Lord of Rings and they did a Lord of Rings expansion. And I we bought some cards, and among the first cards that I bought, we got a card of that moment. Um, when Gollum tries to steal the rabbit, and in the book, Sam smacks him over the head with a fucking frying pan. It's like its own magic card, like it creates food and does damage to someone, I think. 
It's like my favorite card that I have. I want to get, I want to meet Andy Circus someday and get him to sign it. Whenever someone says potatoes around me and my sister, we always do an abysmal <laughs> impression of what's potatoes precious. I forget how that scene goes. He's like cooking them. Oh yeah, it's like Gom's like caught a rabbit, a coney. And he runs up. He's like, what I, "Look what I've got!" And hard cut to him like scrambling on his hands and knees to um, Sam cooking, and he's like, "No!" <laughs> he's like, "What? What he done for it?" So I'm fucking cooking it. Leave me the fuck alone. I hate this fucking worm thing, Frodo. I hate this worm, man. I don't even remember what Sam sounds like now. I'm trying to work it out in my head, but I can't. What does he say? I'm trying to remember how he starts talking about potatoes. I don't remember. Potatoes. How's it go? Fuck, I didn't look at the scene. God damn it. It's gonna eat my brain cells. We get distracted a lot on these trains. Um, oil and match him. Sigma stew. Stick my stew. Stick my stew. That's not the whole scene, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there he goes, he's like, there's a puppy dog eyes. Got you some fucking rabbits. All excited. He's like, oh, just fucking go. He's like, don't eat him raw. There's only one way to cook a batch of conies, it just cut him screaming. <laughs> he has the most slappable head amongst all the creatures in Lord of the Rings. Look at that fucking dome. Doesn't even want to sp brush a palm past that fucking thing. Look at that. That slaps me all so hard. Oh my god. What's to ruin? There's hardly any meat on them. Palm like a basketball. <laughs> Make the fucking like hard dodgeball sounds here. You know what I'm talking about. Dodgeball sound effect. Probably the one you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly the one I was looking for, indeed. <laughs> That's so good. I should make that the sound that plays when people subscribe. Oh, fuck. Just smack Elm across the fucking dome with that. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Wait, is someone building here? Why don't I just see it? No, fucking Gwemblo. Ah, oh, that's, that's a different server. Oh god. Boil the mess, I'm stuck in a story. That's a wrong voice. All right, I need fucking. <laughs> I need to lock in right now. Potatoes, put these fucking carrots away and breed the horses with that. Nice piece of fried fish with a nice piece of potato. Nice and golden crisps. He's like, Bleh! and he spits. He's like, oh, even you would say no to that. He's like, yes, it's what you want. <laughs> he tells Sam to give it to him raw. Give it to us raw. <laughs> I almost put that exact line in the um, Sims Castaway video when I was talking about Gollum. <laughs> But I think I was gonna go a copyright strike. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. He tells Gol Gol tells Sam to give it to him raw. He does it, but he tells him to. What's what's tainted precious? He's like potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Oh, ran out shit. Stupid fat hobby. I saw someone's name tag. Someone, someone preaching on my fucking forest. 
What the fuck? What? Why is there a donkey here? And a cat? What? Huh? What? Huh? I fuck with the donkey. Shut the fuck up. What? A cow, a donkey, and a llama walk up to a tree. <laughs> That's good. What happened? Did someone install a new mod to the server so animals will spawn now? I can't even breed these. I don't think you can breed a donkey with a llama. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. What? Huh? Fuck it, I'm keeping the donkey. Uh, I need to tie up the donkey and the cow so they won't run away in case I find another one. Something gets TNT, does it also get respawn t creepers? Like, eh. Someone gets TNT, does it also regenerate like when people get got by creepers? Let's see. I got a bomb here. Um, let's set it off. I don't know. Right there. I just got rid of grass. Um, well, I don't have any TNT, <laughs> so I don't know. Was that so I'm so confused as to why those animals just spawned here, but I don't know what that was. Ow. 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 I think we're also on a slightly higher difficulty. But you're gonna bomb the animals? No, I need to keep them. It's like two animals on this planet. Um, I don't know about that. Wait, I might have one block of TNT. No. That's not an Enderman scream. I don't think I have any gunpowder either. Uh, no. Doesn't look like I have any. Um, I don't know though. But I'm pretty sure griefing is just like not a thing. Like if people do grief then they just get kicked I think. It hasn't happened yet but I think it's in the rules. It's proper old school Minecraft coded. Which I fuck with, to be honest. I miss the days of being on bloody old servers. I was on Resort Craft. I don't know if anyone knows what that is. Um, someone would grief and you get an admin to come in. They have a little tool that say, like, who broke what block. You, like, pretty much, like, call the feds. That's fun. Um, Alright, so I need to tie up those animals so they don't run away. In case more shit like that ever spawns. There was a name tag, though, so... I don't know if, like, just a player just did that, but I would have seen them. And it was like a... It was like an effect that happened. I, I have no idea what that was. Alright, here's some leads. Who's this guy? Um, oh, no, slime's kind of useful, not really. I guess if I need to make more leads. Alright, cow. I need to tie you up. You're the only cow I've seen in years. This might be the only cow in this entire region. And it is bestowed upon me by fucking Tom Bombadil himself, as far as I can tell. But... What's he doing? What? What? The fuck? Well, now I know it's Cack and Pino, but what the fuck's he doing? Araxable's here. Oh, Raxwell. What? Wait, what? what? What did he use? What the hell was that? What? He's, he's listening to this fucking stream so he can tell me. So it, so it... Huh? Is this like a lucky block for like animals or some shit? Oh no, put the golden carrots in the thing. Yeah, I don't know how he did that. I want those wizard powers. I'm the one that's trying to be the wizard right now. Where's the other donkey? Yeah. Fuck, I want more donkeys. Yeah. No? What? How do you breed donkeys? I don't even breed mules. Breed donkeys. Minecraft. Ah, oh, you need to tame it first. Duh. <laughs> 
You guys are fucking. What are you doing? He's got a flute. Is he actually like a. Is summoning shit from a flute? Is that what's going on? That almost sounds like the start of the Firefly song. Keep going. Oh no, it's changed. Damn it. <laughs> you would not believe your eyes. But. What is this? What is this thing? This dark magic? What? What the hell is this actual songs? There's no donkeys here. What is this? Pandora's back. It just got six plates and two slabs and you can make animals? Wait, what? I, I didn't even need to breed this shit. I was gonna make a fuck ton of those. So you literally can just make that to, to make animals. That's kind of OP. Okay, well... Okay. I don't need to worry about really breeding them, I guess, unless I just want colors and good stats and shit. I can make a fuck ton of these. When did that get added? I've literally never seen that. I got a villager! Oh, I'm gonna abduct this guy so hard. Get in there. Get in there. They're found in the end? How come a cat has a crafting recipe then? Get in there! Get in there! Get in there! I mean, thank you guys. Uh, I'm just actual fucking wizard. I was so confused. I saw a name tag and animals came out of nowhere. Really explored like half of it and never found one. What's that fuck? Yeah, I was in the end for a while. I think it can't. Oh! Yeah, the moss. Okay. There you go. There you go. Never get out. Well, now I know you can do that. Huh. That's good. I wanted a donkey. Have we got... I've got one cow. Got a bunch of llamas. Uh, I've got a fuck ton of horses. I've got donkeys. Alright, we're doing okay. So the goal here is just have to fucking every animal here. We've got donkeys now. I need to tame one of them. Um... I don't think we have any cows. We have one cow. Hmm. Maybe I could steal one. Can you- you can use a lead while you're using Elytra, can't you? Maybe if I'm like, really skilled. I could, um... I could like, steal a cow from Boy's place. <laughs> I'm actually a thief just living in a giant stump. I want that flute. I want a flute. How do you make a flute? How do you... This guy's beating me to the punch of being a fucking... Uh... What was it? Oh, it's just bamboo. I'm cosplaying as Noah from the Ark. I just specify from the Ark. No, you mean a uh, Ark as in Survival Evolved as well, yeah? Is it... Was it was that? What was that? Tried every other way of doing it. What? Okay. Spooky, scary skeletons. That's just a Minecraft theme. It's the same thing. I don't know what that is. That's the other micro for you. That's the other one. Oh shit! That's um concerning hobbits from the start of Little Rings. I'm actually fucking Tom Bombadil. That's so hype. What mod is this from? Supplementaries. Like Freebird? If I just played free bit right then, I would have like actually just jizzed. Oh, that's Fallen Kingdom. <laughs> I 
like the kid, I'm like the Skull Kid from Majora's Mask. I'm just sat on top of my tree fucking. I'm so keen that you can play the Hobbit song. I don't remember what that song is. Creeper. That's what it is. I keep forgetting this voice is this gets the shit out of me. Is this the voice button? It is. I keep forgetting there's a voice what? button. It echoes in here as well because the sound thing. Do you have a another portal anywhere around here? Yeah, down the down the dirty grease hole over there. Yeah. Do you know free birds on this? Is there other is there other mysteries? Wait, hold on. Here's a little trick. If you want to know, if you want to look at all the recipes from one mod, you just go at and then the name of the mod. So here's all the supplementary stuff. There's a little, there's a little hack for you. Um, rope arrow, slingshot. Minecraft client to use for playing? Jabba. Oh wait, no, uh, mod wrench. That's what we're using for the mod thing. Blue bomb. Time to make food. The time is 15th. What? Did you summon the time? Well, thank you, see ya. Enjoy your food, noob like. Time, time. What the heck? You can just summon the time like that. That's weird. Wind fan. Doesn't look like there's any other instruments. Grip banjo? No, there's a guitar. No, it's just a flute. Drum? No? Okay, there's literally just flutes. Is that? Racks all up there. Ooh, that's a new one. I don't know what that is. Wait, is his enchanted? Oops. Oh, you can probably put unbreaking on this. I just put unbreaking on this instead of the fucking Elytra. That was the X-Files film? Why is the X-Files film in here but not fucking Freebird? What in the fucking... This is a confusing a series of events. Yeah, I got some XP from these potatoes. Didn't really do much. Um, stick them in there. Is there anything else I can cook for a little XP? Probably just need to go uh, kill stuff or some shit. Um, put my potatoes there. Well, now we know you can make animals, or if you have that thing, and you can fucking, uh... Play the flute. I was joking about the free bird thing. No, I want it, though. <laughs> you opened my eyes to the reality of, oh shit, that should be in there, and it ain't. So I'm pissed. Um, I don't have anything else to cook. He's sleeping in my fucking bed. Wait, yeah. Did someone just try to shoot me? The fuck are you How'd you get a donkey up there? I was about to press the voice button, but he's probably listening to this stream. Not if you're listening to the stream. Wait, what? How's it? Not if you're listening to the stream. You're listening to me right now. I take that as a nod. Donkey. Wait, what? Does it summon a donkey? What? Oh, it's like the fucking. Okay, got it. It's like, um. Fucking. Fucking pee pee poo poo piper. What's his name? The dude with the flute that makes a rat come and hang out. Okay, so you can enchant this then. There we go, mending and breaking because What? How do you even see the other enchantments then? How'd you get that? I guess you're sitting an enchanting table. Huh. Pied Piper, that's it. Fucking <laughs> Magic, well duh. Huh, okay, well. I need to get some serious XP then. I have my skeleton 
thing. I just need to hang there for a sec and get the XP up. Fortunately. Yeah, fuck it. I might have to. Um, do I have to sweep the edge sword? Yep. Alright, I'm just gonna go kill a fuck ton of skeletons so I can fix my Elytra and then I can do some building. Dun dun dun. dun, dun. I can play one of these fiends in, on the banjo. I don't remember which one though. Yeah, that one. I can play that on the banjo. Whoa! I have no idea how Minecraft works even without mods, but I'm having an ooh and ah and it, I'm oohing and ahhing at everything. Uh, well, it's not usually like this, I can tell you that much. I got lost. Where am I going? I'm lost. Graves over there. Oh no. Here we are. Oh, I need to turn my music on actually. Supposed to be my chill stream, the music, and I ain't got the music. There we go. Still got that on the floor. Oh, it's so dark in here. Alright, spawn. Oh, God. I'm excited, we're waiting for shit to spawn now. Entire reason of the It's like eight people here. I'm just going to be sat here for a minute now. It's the entire meaning behind this is just flexing on the, uh, on the losers that aren't able to join yet. I wonder if I'll be on here when Koi adds the new people. They're going to come and burn my tree down. <laughs> oh, cry. Give me that. Give it them. There's my sword. Okay, so I need to repair that, and then I need to get some levels to use the anvils, then I can repair it. But it put a breaking on it. And I never have to worry about it ever again. So it's all meaningful progress. Ugh. Yeah. Is this like a skeleton farming spot? Yeah, there's a skeleton, like, there's a block up here that spawns skeletons. Um, when it's dark enough, this thing. And usually it's just like a room that you can walk in, but I've emptied it out and put water around. So they all spawn and get forced down this hole. I'm gonna... I'm stuck here now. Oh, oh shit. Uh, where's my axe? And then they spawn, and they go through some lava, so they take a bit of damage, and you just kill them straight away. There we go. <laughs> Alright. So if I just hold this my open, I can see the progress at least. I don't know what this bobble's for. The heart thing. Drop the bone. Tubsy Tubs back. These are like the regulars, these guys are always on. And then someone else, but I forget his name. Wait, what? How I... Oh, right. It's my hand, rather. Hey, yo. Yeah. Finally decided how I wanted my walls to look. Imagine having that problem. Imagine having walls. How... What the fuck? How the turntables. It's 12 p.m. for me and 12 a.m. for you. It's 1.40 a.m. in the morning for me. God damn. Our time zones are all different. Mm -hmm. 
I can do a bit of spying. There we go, Rexival's up in my tree still. Been a creep. I see you, Rexival. His house is right there. And this guy's down his castle. Who the hell is all the way up there? John the King's got a place all the way up in the corner of the fucking world. Nice and private, I guess. Got armor on. So he's got his all the way and it's it's 440 for you, so it's 440 in the afternoon for you. Damn, we're all around the world. We missed a world war for real. What the hell? I think this is a shipwreck, but it looks a little phallus. It's like the hell? There's like a whole castle over here in the edge. Um is that? Oh, that's me. I'm underneath the desert. And then... So wait, so Raxel's there. He goes there. And then we're fed. Oh no, it's everyone. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if there is a thing for this, but I... I want to be able to, um... For everybody to, like, make names for their regions and shit, and, like, vote for names for the regions. Probably be a thing once Koi gets back. Depending on how that works but i don't even know i will steal my fucking tree I'd, I'd name my forest something rax will could like name his hill something um but maybe with this river we'd have to be named something i have to like fix it as well it's got a big thing in the middle here you dig that out and then like connect it oh no it goes into a swamp huh yeah, I need to think of a name for this river in my forest. It might just be like the Star Forest or something. This like little area here is like where I fucking where I'm fucking with. Someone's house there, and there's a house there, and then someone lives up there as well. So I'll probably have to vote for the river name at least. How's it? Okay, this is going alright. Can I have myself like a little Easter egg? Do what Batman does and just prefix prefix star to everything. It's just the star tree, the star field. But when I um first became star beat, I actually had a star field on a different server. Star house, star base, star donkey, star sword. I fucking will do that. Um yeah, I've only been starving for a couple of years. I just realized that you can change your name in Minecraft. And I changed it because it used to be Baylam. For like ages, because it was my Club Penguin name. And then I evolved. I'm pretty sure my, like, my Xbox name is like Shorty Bra or some shit like that. <laughs> like Shorty Bra. Oh no, it's got changed to Casual Pluto. Some bullshit fucking Microsoft auto generator there. up something from him? Maybe not. Oh, he's fucking burned. Right, this is getting closer. Still don't know how you, this works. It is like suspicious sand. I don't know if we can make it. Yeah, this shit. Split it any of that yet. No, I'll keep it on me, actually. At least I'll find some, but... I made my Xbox name when I was eight. I think, at the time, one of my favorite characters' names... It was... It was... Wait, what? It was three of my favorite book characters' name because I was a nerd. <laughs> I couldn't do that because my name... My name... The fucking books that I was reading when I was kids... When I was a kid was, like, Cherub. And a, like secret, pretty much like fucking Men in Black or like Spy Kids, basically, but like kind of serious. Um, but they all have to like pick a new name when they get adopted by this like agent agency, 
And this guy names himself James Choke, but that's like a footballer, so I couldn't really use that. That was a good book series. Let's try I've been trying to do a show for that book for like fucking years. I think it was Robert Muchamore. Yeah. I've been it's like a renaissance of book movies coming out now. Fucking bad guys at I don't know, DreamWorks at bad guys and then Dune sending the movies finally. Like years after Star Wars came out, even though Star Wars is based on Dune. And both of them are pretty fucking boring. <laughs> we Lord of Rings nerds in here, we ain't Star Wars nerds. Star Wars goofy. Goofy ass Star Wars. Alright, we're almost got it. I don't know how many levels are required to put um, Unbreaking on the thing. My favorite book series then was Maximum Ride about this genetically altered, genetically engineered kid kids who had bird DNA in them so they could had fucking wings and stuff. It was cool, but it down it holds up. That sounds like um. Oh my light just fixed. Alright, cool. Probably just get a couple levels still. It sounds like uh, that weird series of books where kids keep turning into animals on the front cover and it looks all creepy. You know what I mean. Someone turns in, some kid turns into like a mole. Like a literal mole. It looks weird. The bloody animorphs or something. I like both. <laughs> I like Star Wars, but I don't like it especially. Like. Especially recently, it's been a bit hit or miss. But, um. Let me change the size of this shit. Whoa. Like, what is going on with this chat box thing? So much stuff on the stream sh stream application I need to fix up. Hang on. Why am I? Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Um. Yeah, Star Wars. I always thought that I'd um seen it growing up. But uh, I just played the Lego games and watched the Family Guy parodies of Star Wars. So I hadn't actually seen the real normal thing. Um, but it's like the Titanic, like you're born and you know the plot to fucking Star Wars. Like, you, you know what it is about. And I finally watched it, and like the first, like the original three are like, fine. They repeat the Death Star thing for like the last two movies, but... Yeah, it's like cool, neat ideas. Even though it's like ripping off a bunch of other stuff. Like, lightsabers, this is classic, that's just cool. Darth Vader, he's cool. It's like cool, it's cool things. But the movies aren't amazing. Um, I kind of fuck with the prequels, even though there's like weird political monologuing throughout the entire thing. Um, and it's just like that bit's kind of boring. But I kind of fuck with um, Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor. That's his name, isn't it? Lady Obi Wan Kenobi, I think that's him. I fuck with them as actors, so it's like they're like the best part of Star Wars, apart from Mark Hamill. The worst part was when um, uh, the actor of Princess Leia died. Oh, I don't remember her name for some reason. My head just told me Margot Robbie. It's not Margot Robbie. <laughs> I don't remember, but um, what was her name? Let me look it up. I don't, I don't know how I managed to forget her name. Leia, actor. Carrie Fisher, yeah. Carrie Fisher had been in the new movies and then died. Um, like in real life, she passed away. And then her send off in the movies was her ship gets blown up and then her corpse like flies around space because she has the force. The fact that she has the force is cool, I fuck with that. Because, like, Luke has it, why wouldn't she? But that she, like, flies around like Superman while she's dead. And I think she, like, pretty much slam dunks a bomb into the new Death Star, which is the same plot as the fucking original movies. It's insane. But it was like, the actor died. 
and then made it fly around in space like that. It was just like, assumed the cob. It was, it was a very strange choice. Ugh. Wensleydale. Any groups in the server? It's just like calling the area around the tr around my treehouse the shade. So that everybody that lives around it has to deal with that name. <laughs> nah, there'll probably be some kind of like naming bug thing or something. I don't think we'll have mares or anything like that, hopefully not. Maybe some people will. So it depends how many people join, how many people um, get whitelisted in the end, because there's like 2,000 people waiting. But it's gonna lag the fuck out of the server. Potentially. Ugh. And a fine trading partner Riverdown will be. <laughs> Someone just said to me, S. Ekul. The KK slider song. I can't even hear that. This is a KK slider song from Animal Crossing. I can't even hear it, like, without singing over it, because the version I know of it the most is, um, someone put ice cubes. Can't believe it was a good. Today was a good day. Song over it, and it kind of fucking slaps. Actually, you know what? This isn't monetized. Let me play it. Good day. Okay, slider. Thor's still streaming. I'm gonna play it. Just no fear in the morning, kind of thank God. I don't know, but the day seems kind of odd. No fuck, I'm from the dark. Wait, no, he says the n-word in this. Do I have just like, like mute it just in time, or do you think the song censored it? Wanna dig out? Hooked it up for later as I hit the door. Think I will unlive another 24. I gotta go, cause I got me a drop top. I never hit the switch. I can make that ass drop. Had to stop at a red light looking in the mirror. Uh, 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 uh. I got a beat from you. But all night. I, I'm scared if I'm gonna have to censor or not. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't gamble it. I'm in trouble. Last week, I got a triple double. <laughs> there we go. I <laughs> muted it for a sec. Alright, that's fun. That shit goes fucking slappy though. I love that song. Especially on KK Slider. Alright, I've got enough levels there. We got like 10. I got 10 levels and I'll get back to the tree. You know, what are the. Well. Freaky. Mm. Give me that now. Four more skulls in. Come on. Come on, get anyone in the wing, anyone in the wing. Where that motherfucking skelly boy at? One skelly boy. One more. There we go. Give me. What? Cute level 10. I need level 10. Fucking get in here. Hurry up. Where are you? Get out of here. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Cool. Alright. Oh. Mm -hmm. Playing new black, are you, um... Are you... I keep forgetting who's like allowed on server and not. Have you been whitelisted yet? Are you one of the people waiting? What's going on in the uh. Yeah, Pond Season 2 is where the whitelist opens again. <laughs> uh. There's people in the voice. Oh, no, there's one person in the voice channel. Duckman, yes, you are waiting. Uh. 
now. What the fuck? Okay, not. Oh, shit, I'm scared. I gotta get the tree nice and prepared for all the newcomers that will be joining. Maybe, I don't even know when, I couldn't say because I don't know. But, boy, should be back soon. So it might be pretty soon. But you and many others are allowed to join. So get get this uh get this mod pack ready. Put it in your backpack? Why would I do that? Now you can uh, hold it in your cape slot there. Ooh. These are like tortoises. Like lava tortoises. You're trying to take some, but they can attack you, but I don't know why or how. But one's killed me before. Alright, is so Raxable still in my house? No. Oh, maybe he is. Huh. Let me check. No, he's up in his house. Where's everybody else? Panda Man's still at the top left, the flipping thing. And he's still down there. Just creeping on everyone. Alright, cool. Time to put unbreaking on this mopo. Cost four. Okay. Cool. Now I never have to worry about that again. Epic. And where's my enchanting table? I got it out of that chest and put it into a different one. There it is. Did I miss anything? Um, I was just talking about <laughs> um, when Carrie Fisher died and they made a corpse fly around in space in that last Star Wars movie that came out. Or last main uh, series one. But I've got my launcher going, I'm back to the tree. I don't know how that guy enchanted his flute. Oh well. Can we listen to a little bit of Ice Cube for a second? <laughs> Who is shooting me? It's fucking Raxwell. There he is. You fucking dastardly dastard. Look at fucking dastard up there. CGI face shit? It was just weird that she died and then they just made her corpse fly around in space. Like, that's just downright odd. Um, uh, no, nah, fuck it. Don't need those on me. Keep the camera on me. Some fireworks ready. About the they do a Peter crushing Harkin in Rogue One. I didn't see Rogue Rogue One was actually supposed to be good, wasn't it? I didn't see that. That was like one of the ones I didn't see. That was like one of the ones people say is actually good. Hello, popping in for a bit. What are you doing in Minecraft? Hey, Lispin. He's probably fucking couple of me. Um, well, I'm on this SMP with Koi Boy, um, who makes his own videos, but which are very good. You should check them out. Um, but he's made the server, this SMP, and it's been up for a little bit, but it just got sort of popular. And there's about 2,000 people waiting to come onto the server, but he's gone on a trip. And I'm gonna get blown up. That's fine. Um, but yeah, there's 2,000 people waiting to come to the server. And I was like, um, I'm just gonna fucking show it in their faces and flex on them that I'm on the server. So that's why I'm just doing this. This is my tree that I've been building over the course of this week. I was working on like my other video thing that I've been doing earlier. But having a break from video making on this. Oh shit, we got two fucking cows now. Oh, there goes Rex Ball. I can breed these cows and then people finally have fucking cows. Alright, so those things that spawn animals are like gatekeeped by the end, so people still need uh, animals to steal. I'm taking the responsibility of providing animals to the old people that will join. And like, like soon. You need to get the world ready. Alright, where are these cows at? There's one over here. How did two cows reproduce? That's actually a good question. They have... Oh no, he doesn't have udders. I swore they have... Wait, no. Usually they have udders and, and 
uh, horns, but it don't have uh, udders anymore. Unless that's a mod thing? Where'd their runners go? Oh no, they're under there. Yeah, there they are. I can save for a second. Yeah, they're just like... Yeah. They're just a bit of both, I think. There we go. Keep all the breeding stuff in here. Oh, I had wheat on me. God damn it. Some alpacas. I don't really care to breed them. They have uters. Okay, I'm gonna make a daytime so I don't get no scopes. I'm gonna sleep with my sleep head to toe as random villager. It's like Banya 2005, how they have lots of male cows, but also only one bull. Is the bull his dad? Otis is dead. He like sings a Johnny Cash song. Oh look, my bees are out and all happy. I think half of them in there are dead, but two of them are alive. There's just a ball in the movie. <laughs> it's stupid. All the male cows are just killed. Yeah, Otis has got others. Who the hell? Oh, it's from Raxable's fucking enchanted hand flute. It's just a donkey all the way up here. I didn't even know what Donkey Odo was until like the other week. Get out of here. What? what the hell? Oh, it's my own head. I always heard the name Donkey Odo, but I didn't realize like what it was. And it's like a old Greek. Or some shit. It's like an old story of like a guy seeing a windmill and thinking it's a giant and being like fucking terrified by it. That's the entire plot. Some weird psycho. Alright. I need to build. Oh yeah, I need to fix up this branch. Do you think the server's gonna get restarted? Probably not. Nah, everybody's been like working on stuff and Koi said that he wants to see this tree finish. I doubt it'll get restarted. But we might just, um, they'll probably just maybe repopulate the world with more animals and stuff. Um, and might expand the world water. I don't know. The save seems massive. Yeah, we can, um, in the pinned comment there, you can see the entire map there. Um, there is a border, but it's not, it's pretty, it's pretty big. Imagine tr tree gets finished and server restarts. I will cry. I will actually just play, not to be a griefer, but I will just like fuck with people my entire time. I'll just be a fool. All right, so I'm trying to figure out how this branch should look. That one's coming up there. I guess it should just go like up straight and then like a little bit out. I guess would look natural. Whoops. God, it's so much nicer having an Elisha now. Ah, oh, barely gets broken from using it now. That's so good. Will you make more large trees? Um, I, I don't know. I kind of thought about using all different woods for at this, but I just stuck with oak. Because it's the classic one, but it would be cool to, like, around the world have different, um, big trees. Like, if maybe every major town had a huge tree on it. That would be pretty cool. But I don't know. It'd be cool to have a big cherry tree. It's with this like dark wood and the petals that fall off of it. There's a fucking bee that doesn't know how to get home. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. People might build their own trees. I don't know. <laughs> you wood joker killing joke origin. Yeah. What's his origin story again? I know what Killing Joke is, but I don't remember what, what happens to Joker in that. Did he just fall into acid? When he's a red? Yeah, what the? Fuck. Okay, well, that's fine. Creeper holes restore themselves. Keeping this one nice and open so I can actually live in this branch. Um, a big birch tree would look cool too, actually. There's a jungle out there, I think. Into birch forest that way. There's a desert over, all the way over there. I don't know what the hell's going on with the rendering that I can see all the way out to that desert there, but not just here. 
I think I need to like fuck around my shit a little bit. In the killing joke, it's basically uh, one bad day, but just a bunch of shit happens to him. Um, as a failed comedian, and he gets duped into some sort of robbery as Red Hood falls in the acid. Okay, that sounds familiar. Oh, the trailer for um, Joker 2 is out. What do you do? With Lady Goo Goo. The trailer came out the other day. It's a musical? Like a jukebox music in school where they like cover songs? That already exists? I don't know what's going on with it. But Joker was like one of my dad's favorite movies. But he hates musicals, so I think it's a bit conflicted. Which is pretty fair enough. I think a lot of people are conflicted about it. It's a weird choice. I think the Joker has sung like maybe twice. Not that it needs to be like the comics, the Joker movie isn't anything like the comics, but like it's just a weird choice to make him musical after that last one. I hated Joker 2019, but not gonna lie, I'm intrigued by Folio Jew. That's interesting. I think I um I would have liked Joker more if I hadn't seen like some other movies before I'd seen it, like um like Taxi Driver and American Psycho and fucking all these other like psychopath movies. But I do like it. I can't believe that people actually like comic books were like real. Like people actually bought these like 20 cents, get a whole story and all this like really like, amazing art and all this. And it'll be continuing for like forever. I've, the only comic books I ever bought, I got some Deadpool comics before like the movie came out or anything like that. And I think, I, I don't even know if I read all of them, I got like four, but it costed like fucking $60 for like five little magazines. They're fucking expensive. And it's only like maybe, I don't know, 30 pages? But it's just got all this art and stuff in it that makes it expensive. Bunch of Batman and X-Men ones. Batman and X-Men ones would be cool to have. What a bunch of Tintin comics as well as Adventure Zone and a couple of mangas. Mangas, mangas, mangas. I know an Australian is supposed to pronounce that word. Because like, we have a lot of Japanese people in Sydney as well, so... <laughs> I feel like I should have heard the way to pronounce it by now. Tintin is based though, that's like... Not everyone would have Tintin comics. That's based, I like that. I don't know what it- there's some... Van like around where I live that has a, like a massive Tintin printed onto the side of it, like his head. I don't know what it's for. It's also a mystery machine I see every now and then. Mystery... mystery van? Mystery machine? I don't understand how to follow, co follow current comic runs, so I just have the iconic stories for them with a few random ones. Lots of random X-Men. My dad has Tintin comics from when he was a kid. Damn. Probably worth something. That's actually cool. I even have Tintin merch. I grew up with it. Is Tintin big in the Netherlands? Tintin is like... In Australia, it's like... We're aware of him. But like, we never like... I don't, know, like, I don't think my parents ever watched him growing up or anything like that. Same with- we had like, Flintstones and shit. I don't, we didn't have, um, Popeye or anything, I don't think. God, I'm so tired all the time. I just want to sleep all day, but I also want to do some shit. Mood, but not really, because you've got an actual medical thing. <laughs> and I do not. I am just lazy. But mood. As mood as I can. Maybe I'm getting this collection confused with Asterix. Oh! Fucking Viking guy? I forgot about that one. My girlfriend's dad is like literally Asterix. He's like a big old like Viking looking dude. I think he's got like a little cup, couple figures and stuff. I forgot about Asterix. They did a new movie for him recently, I think. Yeah, I need to rough this up a bit. Make it seem unnatural and fucky. Some inconsistencies. Make a little fucking wah. Uh, a little notch there. There we go. Speaking of notch, he's making a new game. And people are like, Return of the King. But he said some 
pretty bad stuff on Twitter, I think. Um, and also, all he's doing so far is just a dungeon with some lights in it. Granted, he's only been working on it for like a couple weeks, but just because he made Minecraft. I think a lot of people are just going to assume that whatever he's going to make is going to be like a godsend miracle. Even if it isn't. So, I feel like even if your body drops is going to be mid, you're going to be seeing reviews like the Minecraft killer. But fuck, who knows. Oh shit, we're getting a Minecraft song on the jukebox now. It's a European comic, so I'd say that's why it's more popular here. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. With the which medical thing, there was multiple thing Lamau. Oh yeah, there is. Fuck. Yeah. The 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 group of them, the cluster. I guess. Hatsune Miku made Minecraft? Is that a headcanon? I know about Thomas Jefferson Hatsune Miku. Uh, binder with a weird um, fan art that someone made is like Thomas Jefferson in the modern day and he's like non-binary <laughs> and he has a binder and it's got Hatsune Miku on it that's like my favourite thing that exists someone did that for like Family Guy and shit as well though I think I think it became like a I think originally it wasn't a meme and then it became a meme because it was just a bit absurd that's a classic. Whenever a creator or something beloved is shitty, people just say Miku made it, actually. Oh, really? Oh, I've... I, oh. I feel like... I'm thinking now that maybe I've seen that, like, people saying that, I've not actually just... I've just not really realized what they were doing. Huh, okay. That's a... That's a way to... Yeah. That's one way to do that, I guess. Wow. I've definitely seen that somewhere, I just didn't really think of it. I was like, okay, I guess people are saying that Miku made Minecraft. Did you guys know that Hatsune Miku had a hand in <laughs> founding NASA? <laughs> a, whole, a whole group of Hatsune Mikus from Germany. Wait, what? Oh, you keep shifting when you have a new toy. Okay, um... Yeah, look at the branch. She can do anything. Clearly get blown up by germ of the fucking pipe. <laughs> um, it's a bit skinny. Ah, uh, yeah, I see why. This needs some fat. Needs a little bit of cheekage. Man, I want to play Minecraft more again, but I always forget it exists. And that is, as a result play it maybe once for an entire week every one to two years yeah that's like there's videos on that that phenomenon being like oh i haven't played minecraft in like a year let me play it and nothing else for like two weeks and then it dies like immediately oh man i need to light up this trunk how cool the fighting is over wait that one's gonna win damn it I don't even worry. I don't even worry, I'm up. Go away. Oh. Sims is the same deal, to be honest. Is it? I guess I wouldn't know since I haven't played The Sims. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, shoot. Fuck off, leave me alone. Where's the ass? Oh, the ass is like under here. Fuck. Ow. Ow. Oh. I don't want to climb up it. Surprisingly, Sims is the same, though it's, with Sims it's a, it's a case that depends on how PC I am. I always come back to it, especially the older Sims games. Oh, yeah, you were playing um, PSP the other day. God damn it, I forget where the ass is that I need to fat out. If it's this one or if it's that one. Chimkin Burger, hello. Hello, man. I was, just, I was about to say your actual name and Doxy for a second. Hello, Gordon. Hey, Liz, remember how people keep telling me to do a video on, uh... On Sims Herbs and shit? And, uh... The other Herbs? This Gordon Freshman is the guy that's supposed to be making that video. Not for me, but his own video. 
He's been working on that for like four months. So people who want the herbs video, Gordon Fresh, we go bully him. So shh. Fuck out of here, Tyler. Yes, I somebody asked me what a PSP was and I aged like 20 years. <laughs> oh, so it's kind of fair enough though, like I never even saw a PSP. I said in the video, like I literally have never seen one. It's all on my laptop. I'm gonna steal your laptop, I'm gonna steal your video. Sims herbs is fun, I always recommend both herbs because the GBA and DS this version is really good but often gets forgotten. Yeah, I'll tell fucking Gordon Freshman that. I got it all stashed away, I haven't recorded voiceover. I'm gonna bully you so hard when you do voiceover. No, voiceover is a pain in the ass. For me, anyway. As soon as I'm like two degrees too, like too hot when I'm recording voiceover, I get like really angry. I just like, be like, oh, I want to do something else. <laughs> Which is why I don't know what I'm planning to do for this new Minecraft video. That's not why. I just don't know how I want it to feel. That was a fail. Good luck, comrade. <laughs> I have a nice little idea for both of them. Oh, you finished both games? And scripts, jeez. You literally just have the voiceover to do. Was it a fun challenge between you two to play Sims games? Um, no, I think... I did my Sims videos, and Gordon Freshman was like, fuck, I've always wanted to make videos, I think was the deal, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna steal Starbeam stuff. Nah. That's just the games that he played, I think. And he was like, I'm gonna do my videos on it. We had like a discussion about it, because I was going to, instead of PSP, I was gonna cover herbs next. But then he was like, I'm gonna, I want to do herbs, and I was like, oh shit, uh, and then we were like discussing whether we like collab on the videos. Yeah, he asked me permission as if I have a monopoly on fucking Sims videos. And it's not like, call me Kevin and all these other Sims YouTubers. All I asked for is a cameo. I want a cameo. I'll, I, fine, is, is, there's gotta be a pig in there somewhere I can do my pig noise for. I want to be like the, if this YouTube thing for me keeps going, I want to be like the, um, I want to be that guy that just shows up and has random cameos and fucking everything and like anything, even if it's relevant to me or not. I was actually thinking of doing a video. There's a couple of websites for voice acting gigs, like freelance, most of them are unpaid, like Minecraft and FNAF roleplay. Um, there's actually filters that the official website made to get rid of them. Um, I still need to get more ass. Um, yeah, these voice acting websites, and I was thinking of doing a video just to fuck around where I try to be in as many projects as possible <laughs> in the span of like a week. Like I give myself a week to just try to be in like a million projects. <laughs> and see how many like weird, not IMDB, because probably half of them probably wouldn't be on IMDB. Just see how many strange fucking videos I could be in. I auditioned for an anime fan dub once. For an Australian character. Called Soshi. And then some British twink got it instead. <laughs> also, re also recommend playing GBA, uh, GBA and DS game if you ever want to play Boston at GBA because those games connected and they even loosely connected to Sims 2 DS. Yeah, I want to play Sims 2 GBA. Um, because people say it's like a backwards Truman show and I love that movie. That might be the next one I do after Medieval, I don't know. But oh yeah, I'm um, when I'm done with this Pokemon Emerald thing, I might start streaming Sims Medieval. I need to give myself a little Sims break, but I think I'm thinking to get back on it soon. Because I watched the intro for Sims Medieval the other day. And fucking... Uh, what's his name? Dude from fucking Star Trek. It does the voice for it. The, the cool guy. He's an American dad. The old guy. What's his name? And they made a new series of Star Trek. And it was like, if you want to be ass deep in Romulans for the rest of your life. What the fuck? What's his name? 
What's his name? God damn it. It's like Sir E. McKellen? I think it's E. McKellen. BRB creating a project to outsource Starfall. <laughs> Patrick Stewart, that's it. Not Eden McKellen, that's Gandalf. This is not fat enough. Okay, what I need to do is just do a staircase and just fill it. Um, at least I had heart eyes for Giuseppe as a kid. <laughs> I agree, Meth. Giuseppe is such a sweetheart, honestly. I feel so bad for him once I learned his entire story, like it gets dark. Is Giuseppe the, the biker guy? Oh, I know, that's, that's Dusty Hog. Which was Giuseppe? You guys remember Eddie Murphy from Star Wars? Shut the fuck up. I got. Nah, post flies has nothing to do with that. <laughs> Just absolutely stupid. Shut the bloody hell up, man. He's so roguishly charming and he's a gabba gabba to go. Giuseppe is the one with the beanie you get the water gun from. Okay, he is actually. I was thinking of Dusty Hog's name, but I was thinking of that guy's um character picture. So I was actually thinking of the picture of him. Right, yeah, I know who you're talking about now. Hey, gabba do. He's got beanies, yeah. So he's the fucking thing. You're right, yeah. Yeah, I thought he was a meth. Oh, I know. There's two. There's him, and then there's like an actual meth dealer. It's like a skinny guy in the DS game. It's like literally Jesse or something. As soon as. Wait, when you do Sims Medieval, can you please name a character meth, please? I feel like I've already. I've not named something meth in one of these games that I've streamed. But, yeah, sure. Hold me to it. I'll name a fucking dragon. Is there dragons in it? There's a dragon in the intro. I guess we'll see. We'll see what you will be na- what will gain your namesake. Berkeley Clod? What are you talking about? It seems many evil sit star needs to make one of the possible NPCs Dominic. He's got to be a recurring guy. Oh god. Don't rope me into your chin to keep subjecting Dominic to being restricted to a game. Except actually that sounds funny to make a medieval Dominic. Have you done that yet? Fuck, I want pictures. God damn it. God damn it, what have you done to me? <laughs> Method and Bliss have ruined my brains. With Sims and Dominic and Meth. I guess meth ruining your brain is not a sentence that hasn't not been said before. There's a guy in herbs called Berkeley Claude and he's like charlatan criminal. Oh, let me look at him up. Berkeley Claude. No, it's not him. <laughs> Never seen that face ever. That's fucking me. That's literally me. I want to be that guy. That's how I'm trying to look. You know me by now, Star. I do. I do. It's fucking Star Stream shit is taking its doll. No, it's excellent. Um, it's you. It is me. <laughs> it's literally me. That's what. That's what I'm striving for. That's the man I want to look like. I was watching Patches stream. Yes, I streamed for twelve hours straight, which is crazy. Um, playing Sly Cooper. Um, and he was like, oh, Starbeam's here. He's, he's, the he's the Australian man. He's a good guy of cool hair. That's not what he sounds like. I just can't do an American accent. <laughs> it doesn't sound anything like that. But it does sound weird to hear, to hear an American accent say Starbeam. So I say, like, Star. This guy's like, Starbeam. Dominic could be a wizard. That's actually, that goes hard, actually. That actually kind of goes hard. Okay. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to think of like how to involve that now. If I like pretend that I didn't make him and he's just there. Probably can't get away with that, but... 
Oh, god damn it. <laughs> what have you done? I fuck with it. I do. In the Sims Medieval, you can have multiple playable Sims of different classes and professions. You start with a monarch. You start with being in the monarchy? That's crazy. I guess that's easy mode. So I'm hum humbly begging to be the spy because I'm super cool. I promise. Alright, if I get up to having a spy, I'll call it something, some variation of meth. Important. Um, it looks better, it's still a bit skinny. Especially this part. Also, surprisingly, never played Sims Medieval. Damn. You're the first person I expect to have played it. Um, just give that. I wish I could, like, stop midair and look. Um, I'm gonna run out of fireworks this right. This boy's a bit skinny here now. And this needs to be a bit fatter. Like, the, just the underside here. Ow, what the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'll sleep, I guess. Um, bro, it looks like you're gonna tell me to buy some shrunken heads and give me a hoverboard. <laughs> I bully Claude like that. Claude's my man. At least you should play Medieval. You're such a fountain of Sims knowledge. I'd love to hear your thoughts. <laughs> I'm actually gonna play Sims Medieval now. I'm gonna be booted up on my laptop. Let's go. Meth stream. I was very unlucky and was always sold out as a kid. I did order it not too long ago, but Dutch shipping has been terrible lately. Oh fuck. This like Um It's like my mum like bought something with some points for some shop or something, I don't even remember what it was, but she like could redeem like a thing. She got like a power bank, and then it took like a month to a month to arrive, despite it coming from Australia. And by the time that it had arrived, it had already been recalled due to like just like starting fires or something. I was like, okay, and then like a week later, it rocks up and she has to send it back. It's like, why didn't they just recall it while it was being delivered? It could have like set fire to the fucking delivery truck, so like. I should try taking Adderall. I'll pump out video after video. <laughs> Fuck no, that's dangerous. I've once known of a person that took stuff to be able to be productive for a bit and it was not worth it, I can tell you that. How many trees did you kill for this tree? On the other side of this I have a forest. And every time I cut them down, it automatically replants itself. So I can't count them. But probably, like, literally like 400 <laughs> like realistically probably like that group of trees there maybe like fucking 30 times there's a lot of wood okay, I need to break my way in I'm going here oh and it'll be creeper or something on them on the wait I've still got my elytra do I have anything here I can use hmm Okay. What the fuck? Okay, I thought that was just gonna boo me off and kill me again. Alright, come on. Nice and soft. Nice and... Ow, what the fuck? I just like, clipped my toe on it and fell on my face. What the hell? God damn it. Um, I'll bring some dirt so I can climb up this time. You okay? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, I hate taking meds, but I need something to soothe my brain from wandering, so I can just focus. Creating an artificial cave at this point? I pretty much- uh, yeah, I have. This is like the most dangerous place on the set. <laughs> Rip bozo. Call me fucking bozo. Yeah, um... I have a bunch of like different ideas for completely different stuff. This Minecraft thing that I'm working on, not this tree, like a, a different video. Um, I showed it off at the start of the stream actually. 
but I'm using the camera mod and a replay mod that you can take like cinematic shots with, which is what Koi Boy uses, who hosts the server. Um, I'm trying something out like entirely different, and I actually have to like learn the replay mod. And I'm like, I like making videos when you have to like learn something new to do. But um, like the minute I understood replay mod, I was like, ugh, <laughs> I was, like immediately like sick of it. But um, I want to do it though because I think it, I think some people would like it. It's like a nostalgic thing. But there's a lot of nostalgic Minecraft videos out there, so I'm trying to put a spin on it. And I've had to do a lot of um, fucking wayback machine to try to find old YouTube videos and old Minecraft world saves and stuff. It's been a bit technical. That should be good. Uh, it's gonna take me fucking ages. It took me like hours to get one shot today. Like one section of the video. And it might be a silent video, I don't even know. I made some cookies yesterday and they're actually kind of good. Dot dot dot. You say that like as if it's like mysterious. It's like, they're actually good though? What? They're actually kind of good. This is unprecedented. Fucking sh oh my god. Yeah, yeah. What? It spawned a brother. Now oh, get out of here. Now oh, get out of here. Bro, I need torches. It's getting bad. I'm fascinated by Minecraft, but Strap cannot play. My brain is too smooth to retain all the info needed. It can be as complicated or as simple as you want it to be. Like literally, you could jump on a world, punch a tree, make a little pretty house, and that could be it. Or you can try to enchant shit and make farms and shit. But literally, it could be very simple. As you'll see, when I um, put this next video out, you'll see how fucking simple it used to be. Like fucking two blocks. Like literally at the start actually, yeah, there was like cobble block and stone block, I think, and that was it. Um, because I think it was sort of, not ripped off, but inspired, in quotes, by something else called Infinite Miner, I think. You'd hate to be the guy that came up with the idea of procedurally generated worlds and mining and crafting, like, digital Legos, and then Notch comes along, makes a kajillion million billion dollars. Like, fuck. That's so upset. Project Zomboid when? I played Project Zomboid. I played it with two other people though, and I didn't know how to play it. it was, I was just like screaming and dying like 15 times pretty much. Um, but I'd have to go at it again if people were down for me to play it again. Because I want to learn it properly. Whoa! Because I do like um, survival games. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, I, I might play Zomboid again at some point. I, I tried to play it by myself the other night, actually, off stream, and I did not do very well. I think I need to learn how to move the character better, because I was just getting, like, mauled. I think I died, like, three times in a course of, like, an hour. I was doing terribly. <laughs> chocolate chip cookies list? No, just plain cookies. We dip the top in melted chocolate, though. Oh, cold cells, shit like that. It's so good. By the way, just asking, making sure, is the stream buffering every now and then for everyone else, or has my internet gone shitty? That's a good question, actually. I'm sort of curious how my internet can even host these streams, to be honest. Project Zomboid Boat Bootcamp? Want to play a modded version? I know there is mods that help it, like quality of life stuff. Like there's um, motherfucking like a book you can use and make to like save your progression, like your character skills and stuff, and then you can pick it up again if you die and you get get it all back. I think. 
mate was telling me about that. I know that much. I think there's also stuff that adds more cars or something. They'll tell me all the stuff like make it easier. But I don't know, maybe. We've had a lot of people request products on board, so it must be um pretty popular at the moment. Meth Borton, sometimes I have stream issues, but it's pretty good for me today. Change my profile picture at long last to something more appropriate. I can't even see it. Like, look. That, like, that is all I can see, and I know it's fucking Dominic. That man actually haunts my dreams. I was actually talking about a dream the other day. It was kind of, it kind of felt like being, like, Wrapped in a thing. Kind of like fucking Dominic is. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> what a stream that's gonna go by that I'm not gonna think about Dominic. Even when I told my girlfriend, like, the plot. Because I kind of, like. She knew I was making the PSP video, and then I had people watching it, and Mad Rain helped me, and you, like, a massive fan of it. She knew everything but the plot, even when I released the video. And, um. When it came out, I said some joke and she was like, what does that mean? I'm like, oh, and I finally had to explain the plot of fucking Sims PSP. And she was like, what are you talking about? Because you would not expect the Sims at, surface, at face value to have a plot about like actual existentialism and shit like that. It's crazy. Switch to data then, thank you. Why aren't you burning? Oh, it just got dark enough for you to survive. You... Fucking bastard. You dastard. Oh, okay. Stop, I've been haunted by this man for six... Nearly six years by now, it's not gonna get any better. Not looking forward to that lifetime. Ow. This is gonna be playing the fucking Sims PSP credit music at a wedding. <laughs> She's gonna have a Dominic like cosplayer at the wedding and everything. Wait, oh, no, that's who she's gonna marry. She's gonna marry someone, and she's gonna be like, "Oh, like wear like your suit or dress like this. Like have like uh, like gray and red. Have like a little green. Like I've given like a ring that's got like a green uh pyramid diamond in it. Just not tell him. It's like, ah, oh, yes." There's all my sims plan. That's Alyssa's uh, life journey, I think. I need torches. Next time I die, I need to come back up here with some fucking torches. Well, <laughs> still buffering being there. Switch back to life, I had no issues. I... I don't hope it's you, but I hope it is just you and not my... Internet doing it. Not that bad, thankfully. Uh, I don't know. I think I think you'd pick fuck pretty hard with one of the, like a ring and the gem like literally being like an emerald and literally like the sim plum bob shape. I think you'd fuck pretty hard with that. You'd look at that and be like, I fuck with this, and I'd be like, yep. You post it on your Instagram or something and be like, just engage and it's just literally a plump up and I'd be like, yep. Knew it. Fuck it, leave me alone. I'm sick of dying. Where's my stuff? Oh god. Okay, I think I need to like bring some equipment to survive this. Yeah, we got some womp womp shit. <laughs> Get out of here. I've got a bomb, I can, uh, I won't regenerate if I use that. He's a flint and steel on my fucking tree. Uh, God damn it, bro. Got a sword. Oh, I'll use my Zephyr sword. Hmm, oh yeah, and I wanted to bring torches. Sticks. The funniest shit is my IRL friends knowing about my Sims obsession at this point as well. It's a feature that comes with a friendship. I mean, I guess so. It's just an interest, I suppose. Or a hyper interest or a religion or a cult, whatever you'd call it. 
Colts is pretty close. Hmm. Is the music still at a good volume? I forgot to check on that. I don't know if the background music is alright. Cow cult? Oh god, don't. God damn it. I forgot about cow cult. Do I have rockets in my thing? Yes, I do. Wait, I have potions of. I might have to use these potions to split. I got. That looks kind of cool. Oh yeah, I need to show you guys something in a second, actually. Have you seen all the lore in the Discord channel? They're building lore in the Discord channel? Perhaps you can tell the people watching about Wednesday Dale. Shut the f No. I will not tell about Wednesday Dale. What is happening? People in Discord for this, um, for this Minecraft channel are building a wall in the Discord. Yeah, maybe coerced into choosing a side at some point? What the hell? The new generation of people haven't been, even been added yet. We got the blues versus reds going on already, what the hell? This, oh, they're waging war and they fucking haven't even stepped foot in the land yet. Oh god. Heal myself. Actually doing PvP right now. Except it's not. Oh! Alright, is that it? Lighting up this fucking place. I'm sick of this shit. The... That should do it. Light this tunnel up as well. Damn, there's a lot of wood in this. Alright, that should be bright enough. Nothing should spawn in here now. This is my stuff. That's the last time I died. Where's my stuff from before that? Oh god, I think it might be buried underneath one of the holes that got blown up and healed. I don't know where that is. Oh god, I didn't even have an axe. Unless I'm not trying to indoctrinate them. You indoctrinated me! <laughs> At one point, I can just picture you calling me out in one of the videos, like, yeah, Liz, the one that has been spamming the Dominic Oh, here's my grave. I'm just like, in the Fury video, or like, just all live action, I was like, turned slowly to the camera, I'm like, hello, Liz. What have you done to me? This is your fault. It's, people people wouldn't know who you are and just be like, what what is he talking about? This is actually scary. What does that mean? I'd end up on something like YouTube iceberg. Be like, man goes crazy talking about Sims Law and calls out some other person. Nobody knows who this list person is. Except they would because they just look you up or look up Sims PSP or Sims and literally just find your name immediately. <laughs> Alright, well <laughs> I still got my rockets. Yeah, I've got, got plenty of rockets still. You know, fly around again and have a little look. You can stick with me and Allo, my main man main manathrun though. Main thrun. Cliffside and Wensleydale are the main sides. My fucking tree place better not be Wensleydale. My forest will be Sweden. Or Finland or whatever it was. Who was it that didn't give a fuck? Oh think not give a fuck, but like well, it's like, not on one side. Lol, I'm the artist. Yeah, you're <laughs> Sims artist's list made. You can also chill with me. I'm not even on the server yet, even I'm playing noob. My forest will be a safe haven for people who don't want to take place in war. We'll have, like, an underground root system in the shade, and it'll become a cult. Okay, I need to fatten this corner just a tiny bit. Whoa, okay. This corner. That's the Zelda music, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm playing like a lo-fi hip-hop remix of like all... 
uh, like N Nintendo and old game soundtrack shit. I can't recognize some of them, but that one was Zelda. Fuck, the ending to Tears of Kingdom was so fucking cool. It was like some of the coolest cinematics. I'll play my friend group, trust. I, I'm, I'm sticking to my tree. Tubsy Tub. I keep forgetting if Tubsy Tub can hear me or not. If he's listening to this. I'm sticking to my tree. It's literally gonna get burnt down. <laughs> it's gonna become like the no man's land of this two part war. It will be a safe haven for lovers of the peace. I'll stick to my flint and steel perhaps. God damn it. <laughs> I literally said it was someone's gonna burn it down. God. Just sticking to your tree, huh? I still gotta stream sometime. I think you say that every single time I stream. There's a couple catchphrases on my streams. It's me being, yeah, I'll play uh, Herb someday, and I'll play Sims Medieval. And then you being like, I need to stream sometime still. Oh shit. Uh. And then me being like, can you see me? Tubsy do been streaming sometimes though. Do we? Oh yeah, I was meant to show you guys. Um, somebody in the server... I'll find out who in a moment. Somebody in the server made a bunch of, like, posters for the server. And he made them, like, in Blender or something. Like, he actually, like, rendered them. Um... Uh, where are they? We've got an art channel in this Discord as well. There's a lot of stuff in there, too. Oh, yo! Fucking... Badass drawing a fucking Rango, that goes hard. Um, skins, dog. Oh, I can't find the old posters, but he made another poster because people were making requests, which features me jumping off my tree because I did that a few times. Life is a constant screeching thing. <laughs> so, what? Grass monkey, that fucky monkey cereal when halves milk edition. Me when you when the this is my two weeks notice blow me. <laughs> Sick as hard. We've been trying to reach me. <laughs> oh yeah, that's I remember that new sex buddy. For services, it's for the the Minecraft server mom, the koi boy pond thing. Project Zomboid has a mod pack, Vanilla Plus Plus. Okay, that'll be the one. There it is. Yeah, this is, um... Who was this? This is... Shit, what's the name? Stream mode on. The Game Wizard. The Game Wizard made this. So, I changed my Minecraft skin recently, so that's me falling from my tree, and then that's... Uh, I think... Uh... Ludwig? This is Careful Icarus. And then I'm pretty sure that pose is literally from a painting. Yeah, this thing. So he's like falling back, he's got his legs up, his arms down. And it's like the same pose there. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know how he got my... I don't even know how he did this. It's sick. But that's another piece of... I'm counting that as fan art, even though it isn't. It's going in my, my folder on my phone of fan art. I'm gonna go in a bit for dinner, but I'll be back later. Um, I don't know how long I'm streaming for, because it's 10 to 3 in the morning. But thanks for stopping by. I'll just commit to it and stream later tonight. Shit, god damn it, I just- fuck. <laughs> god damn it. I will try to be awake for it. How many hours away is tonight? I can calculate. I'll try to be there. Um, work, study, partial internship, volunteers, work therapy, leaves very little time for oneself. That is, that is the modern, that is the modern day life. Especially of an artist, especially of an artist who, well, artists always just have, like, a million things they have to deal with. Have a good avatar. Hey, girl boss, too close to the sun. <laughs> 
What did Golden say? As a male, I girl boss on the regs. I know what you are, Gordon. I know the things you've done. I know the things you've said. He's trying to make himself look cool now. He's trying to get a following for when he finally releases his herbs videos. This this dude did not girl boss. I, st I stood next to this guy while we waited for a Hungry Jack's order from Menu Log in the middle of a road in the middle of nowhere in Queensland. And we debated, um, golf clubbing cane toads. Because <laughs> you're legally allowed to do that. I stood in the rain with Gordon Freshman here and thought very long and hard about clubbing a couple of toads <laughs> while waiting for some Burger King that made me almost vomit. Not Burger King, uh, Hungry Jacks is what it's called in Australia. Bro, it's got like 400 years of dirt on me. Yeah, he did have longer hair than me. You thought I'd be taller than you too, and I was like the shortest one in my entire group. Friendship with Star ended, now Gordon is my best friend. Let's go. <laughs> it was Carl's Jr. What's Carl's Jr.? Yeah, Carl's Jr. is like an American thing, so we got it. I figured it would be like goaded, and it was fucking not. It's like this, I got like a jalapeno burger and it was like wet. It was a Fanta that was like, it was, the Fanta was like spilt throughout the bag. But we're watching, um, Airplane. That, that movie's funny. The bits in it that haven't aged well, but that's a funny, funny movie. Alright, let's have a, like the savannah trees are glowing from the torches under them. Okay, it looks a little bit better. I wonder if I could slowly just like... Not slow enough, okay. Shit, I, I can just like... Hold on. That movie fucking slapped? Yeah, that was a good fucking movie. Apart from the bits of an age, well. Oh god, did I just make a big stick coming out the bottom of it? I did. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna have to go inside it and fix it. Slow, slow, slow. Okay, cool. Alright, so Meph's no longer my friend. And Gordon has acquired Meph. It's indoctrinated them now. He's gonna still fucking listen to JB next. Stole my Sims, Valor. My stolen Mick Valor. As Aussies, do you guys regularly see large sp spiders? Because it's my number one reason for never wanting to visit the country. Um. Yeah, but not all of them are dangerous. We get daddy long legs in the house all the time, but they're not like, I don't even think they can bite humans, I don't even know, but like I, I pick them up and put them outside. I actually keep them in my room because I get rid of um, mosquitoes. But um, funnel webs don't even do webs across trees. They literally make a little hole in the dirt and then like put web around it and then make a little um, no, they don't make a trapdoor, it's a different spider that does that. But there's funnel webs, like, all over Australia, everywhere, in the dirt, everywhere, and they're, like, one-shot kill. <laughs> like, there is, um, anti-venom, and there's places that if you catch a funnel web, you're supposed to take them, for them to make, like, if you catch a funnel web, you bottle them up, and take them to these places, there's, like, zoos. Whoops. And they, um, make the anti-venom, but... They are very, very fucking dangerous, and they just hide in the dirt. And crawl up your ankle while you're going on the bush run. It's honestly a shock that you don't get bit more often. But they probably don't want to try to pick a fight with something that's like a million times bigger than it. Also, there's a big huntsman gatekeep in the middle of the footpath. Yeah, last night I was walking with a friend at 2am and a giant orb weaver fell on me. I didn't know what an orb weaver is. Apparently, stayed away from me. I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> I can't stand spiders. I'm a massive arachnophobe. I can barely handle the little spiders I get here in England. Me too. I was constantly checking myself for webs after that. All webs are harmless, but they're so big and scary looking. Time to bring it up. Ignore breeding donkeys. Oh boy, oh these fat fu Oh yeah, yeah, I know these guys. Yeah, these guys show up every now and then. Yeah, they have like the crazy, yeah, colors on them. I know the ones. 
Yeah, that's spooky. I remember Peppa Pig episode was banned in Australia because it was like spiders are friendly and pick them up and take them outside. I didn't remember that. That makes a lot of sense though. Australia censors stuff like pretty... Like there's a lot of South Park that's censored. The South Park game was very censored in Australia. Even like Left 4 Dead and stuff like... They got rid of like half of the blood and stuff and you have to like... Fucking recode it back in there. You have to download a thing. Um... Gordon, God bless. You are God's strongest soldier. Ugh. Yeah, no. I don't particularly hate spiders. Most of my friends do. But like... I don't like them when they got a big fat ass on them. I don't even know what that means. If it means it's more dangerous or if it just means it has a lot of spawn. But I do not like them. I would consider the sewer slide. <laughs> Escaping spiders. Alright, this is looking okay. So I think I will expand it up now. I will go to a bit of staircasing. Bam, 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 bam. Damn, I don't know what it is. I can talk to a person in IRL face to face. For ages, but when I stream, my voice gets like so sore so quickly. Probably because I'm just like t talking entirely from the throat. So you're supposed to sing and speak from like your belly, but I, I actually don't know how to do that. There was one time when I was in film school, we were, um, you had to make it like a fake TV commercial or like a product. Um, and you could do like, you could reach out to actual products if you wanted. I don't know why I didn't do shapes to be honest, I probably would have said yes. Um, like to allow me to make a fake one, but we made a fake pirate drink, um, called Captain Cuba, and we actually made bottles and stuff, and I took a picture of me in a pirate costume drinking it, and printed off these logos, got some ginger beer bottles, and used some adhesive spray, like sticky stuff you just spray on it, um, and sprayed these, like, logos on it to make our bottles for this commercial we we're gonna shoot. Um, the adhesive spray, I guess, when the bottle is, um, still not been opened, it just tightens it over time. So I was just stood in, I was standing, stood, I was stood in the lounge room, and the adhesive spray was slowly just grasping this ginger beer bottle, and two of them just fucking exploded loud as fuck, and, like, glass, like, went past me, I was like, Fuck! And it was just ginger beer, like, all over the fucking floor. And it stunk. It was sticky. I just had no idea what the fuck happened, but I just, like, quickly ran around and opened all of the bottles as fast as I could. But, um... We were gonna record us singing, um... A shanty that's in Black Flag running down to Cuba. That was the whole deal. I run down to Cuba with a load of sugar away, made a voice to Cuba. We we're gonna sing that, and we got into a recording studio to record it. And a friend who is actually in a band and sings and is very good at it realized I do not know how to fucking sing. And I usually speak, and like I, whenever I have to use headphones or earphones, I usually have just one ear out because it's it, so I can like control my voice a bit more. But he demanded that I put both cups on, or he just told me to. And when I listened back to it without being able to like hear my voice and deal with it live, it just sounded fucking terrible. <laughs> but yeah, that commercial thing never went anywhere because the camera died. It was like a multi thousand dollar camera with probably multi thousand dollar lenses on it that could have been saved. That probably was saved. Um but the camera itself died because we were shooting on a beach and I think it was too hot and it might have got some sand into it and it's in a display cabinet in that film school now. And I didn't really get in trouble for it, they were just like, oh, it was probably old anyway. Even though it was like multiple thousands of dollars. But luckily, I didn't have to pay for that. But, fuck, yeah. I still got some bottles of Captain Cuba, actually. I've got, got two in my bedroom. Maybe someday I'll revive it. A mate of mine wants to make a fucking whole, like, short film series, but I have no idea what the plot would be. Because it was literally just a name in the costume. And the song, I guess. 
Do you remember those little aliens? They were all goopy and came in a little egg with goo. We have one of those stuck behind the ceiling of our product design classroom. I don't know why beer bottle reminded me of it, but I pictured my old classroom with the bo bottles in it and I remember the alien. Little aliens and goopy and came out of an egg. Is this a, I, I, I guess it's a toy. I assume it's a toy. Uh, no, I do not know what you're talking about. A little stuck in your product design classroom. I love the idea of just like when people just try to destroy classrooms in school. We had demountables. I don't know if people. I don't know if everyone knows what a demountable is. It's just a like a classroom that can be dragged from a truck and then just planted there, and it just has like the basic setup for a classroom. Um, but you just they just come out around on a truck and they just placed on top of some bricks and they just sat there. So the floors in them aren't very good. The funny, the funny boys in my, I think it was health class, over the course of a couple classes, very secretly, whenever the teacher left the classroom for even a split second, would pick up a chair and start mining the fucking floor um, to create what we called the glory hole. And we literally just made a giant fucking hole in the floor. And I think people got in trouble for it, but multiple people worked on it, so they couldn't figure out what one person did it, because it wasn't one person. So, no one really got in trouble for it, but they just got like a big sheet of metal, and like screwed it over the fucking hole. And then, fucking a couple days later, we're back in there, someone brought a screwdriver, and <laughs> just removes it. Like, you can't even break, like, you can't bring a screwdriver into Australian school anyway because you're going to tax someone with one. But fucking brought one in just to remove a metal sheet just to restore the glory hall. Because <laughs> it was just like, yep, we don't want to deal with like, what limited sex ed we get in Australian classes. Let's just make a hole <laughs> instead. It's just like a student attitude. I'm bored, I'm going to destroy something and dig a hole. It was a toy, didn't mean to leave that out. No, you just had actual fucking live sea monkeys stuck in your production design classroom. The other challenge as well was always how the fuck, um, what was like the biggest spitball you could create and then stick to the ceiling without anyone noticing. One kid that I'm still friends with made like two pages, like two full A4 sheets of paper, chewed on it until he's like jaw like nearly dislocated. And just like threw it when the classroom left, and it make it like thumped, like made a slam in a fucking ceiling. I stayed up there for like a while, I think, as well. I don't know how it was fucking heavy. We like knock someone out of it, and landed on them. But that shit was always happening in my school. We're just throwing shit. It was it was like a couple kids that just had like mean throwing arms and you'd just be like throw my mandarin across the school and they'd be like okay and they're just fucking yeeted with like they're just fun to count it to like a different school <laughs> but I remember getting a kid to do that once I didn't really like want to get myself in trouble I was a bit of a wimp but it was like one time oh hey who's this is this Tulia? no it's Miguel um it was like one time I got him to do that and it just was so fucking loud Um, in my woodworking class, we had a mostly tin roof, but one strip of it was translucent. So a few of the boys made a giant dick out of wood and threw it up there. <laughs> so that, in that classroom, you'd see a giant cock shadow in metal of the entire workshop. <laughs> That's genius. That's like... Jesus' cross making a shadow in a church. That's like, next level. That's so clever. Talking about this. <laughs> Talking about school hijinks. Oh, my school had a glory hole. Oh god. They were the best of times, they were the worst of times. Destroying the classrooms and then getting mad because we couldn't afford air conditioning even though half of the budget went to shit that we destroyed. <laughs> Not that any block you break here just randomly pops back up again. Uh, it's just if creepers blow up, it repairs itself, and if you mine a tree, it replants itself. That's the only two things. If I destroy that, it goes away. But it's real convenient. Damn, that looks nice. I'll set my camera to take a photo of that. 
Yeah, I'm gonna live out IRL. What's going on? Someone added me. What the fuck did Methany said? This is what Meth was talking about. That's disgusting. What the hell is that? I've never seen that in my life. Why have you got... It's in like... It's... You got a fetal alien. That's crazy. Literally a toy fetal alien. That is the weirdest fucking thing. That's actually bizarre. The stretchy? Ew. What I hated that. I sent him a fetus on stream. <laughs> Beta stream. That's such a good word. That's disgusting. Me and Gordon, when I went up to Queensland, we went to a arcade. Um, and I probably spent 80 bucks or something. Um, but I basically learned that the best thing to get tickets or points, because you don't get tickets anymore, um, the best thing to get points were like just those things where you drop coins. And it was just like a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory themed one. You get cards and you can get like more points. Um, but every arcade just has like shit. Because it's for kids. But I bought like some water balloons and shit. That I just gave for the kids on my street. Um, but I had like fucking like 120 tickets left over. And I was like, oh, for three tickets. You can buy them Stingular Mentos. I had like, five, I had, like a, a couple hundred tickets, I think. And I just went through and counted each fucking Mentos, like, one, two, three, up until, like, I had, like, a whole bag. I'm still going through it, actually. I just have a whole bag with nothing but fucking Mentos. I remember one of the girls working there that was watching me count this shit. Um, it's probably a bit annoyed, but Gordon, well, that chick was a pretty good-looking gal. Um, I, I think she had, like, blue hair or something. Had glasses on, dark eye features. Real nice looking gal. And when I started counting my Mentos, Gordon straight up fucking left. He just walked out of the room because he was so embarrassed. I was like stood there counting like one Mentos, two Mentos. I'll get a mint one. It's just like, <laughs> it's just leaves. I was like, why'd you walk out? I was like, oh, I was embarrassed. <laughs> I'd also brought, um, when I went on a trip to Dubbo with my girlfriend, we stayed in a motel, and it had like a dodgy, like, um, like a, just like a thing on the walls in the bathrooms where you put coins in, and you get like a, just basically snake oil, like just a nothing product. But it'd be like, oh, it, it's like, makes, it's like pheromones, it makes people, like, attract them to you or whatever. It's like an actual, like, love potion. And I still have it, I still have the, like, the tiny little vial. And I brought that with me on that Queensland trip, and Gordon did not partake at all. I kept telling him, you gotta use the love potion. This chick in the arcade, you should've used it, and he was like, nah. And then we played Dr Dungeons and Dragons. It's like the opposite of getting laid. <laughs> but, fuck, Queensland was an experience. I'm never going back there ever again. <laughs> at least I won't go to Ipswich. Yeah, what's going on in the chat? I hope I'm not talk talking too quietly as well. I'm lowering my voice because it's like early in the morning and I have sore throat. Can't wait for whitelist to open. Uh, hopefully it's soon because Koi should be back today or tomorrow. So, could happen while I'm streaming, I don't know. Could happen very soon. Who knows? <laughs> Put a chair in it. Back's getting sore. Um, I remember this, you were trying to get a golden ticket too, and I was sat there next to you holding it because I got it on my first, fourth try. Oh yeah, this shithead. I was playing fucking Charlie Bucket game for so long, trying to get the golden ticket, you got it on your first go. Um, Star, do you have any favorite character archetypes? Like, just in general? Ah, uh, whenever I ask stuff like that, I always blank on what, like, examples. Um... I like just like crazy abusive wizard, not abusive, but just like crazy wizard guy. I'll just like smack a kid over the head of a can. Like, um, uh, Rafiki from Lord of the Rings. Rafiki, the baboon from, uh, on the Mandrill from Lion King. Or like, um, uh, Sword in the Stone. Merlin fucking smacks a kid, I think. 
I like these just old wizard dudes that are like kind of funky, like wearing some glasses and shit. I, I like that shit. I think you Lord of the Rings. I mean, essentially. Um, I, I like I like like funny wizards. I also like it's not really a character archetype, but I like in like shows when they just add something that's just like that is just so real. Like there was something um there was a clip of Adventure Time where people kept asking why Finn was getting older. He was having birthdays and shit, but he wouldn't grow facial hair. So in one episode while he's asleep, he has like one singular mustache hair and Bimo comes up and just pulls it out because he doesn't want him to look older. And he just wakes up and he speaks in the most like genuine voice ever. It's just like my lip kind of hurts. He just like rubs it and it's quiet for like five seconds. It's just like the most genuine just nothing. Man, I love that shit. Just these like super human things that you'd never usually see. That's the stuff I love. Especially like when you idle like a character in an old PlayStation 2 game and like scratch their ass or like go on the phone and take a nap or something. I love that shit. I once went to an arcade and there's two P machines and when I got bored after like an hour I went to the counter with two pounds worth of two P coins. Two P is like cents I think for Australian people. Um, like pence I think it is. Um, and asked for two pound coins in return and had to count the two P's in front of the staff so they knew I wasn't lying. <laughs> That's, I hate that shit. Just stood there. Especially when something for like an arcade as well. It was like kind like it shouldn't be, but it's like slightly embarrassing. <laughs> it's like I'm just spending time doing this and I'm having to commit to it literally one by one. Put this in a communal apple tub outside. Check some more wheat with me so I can breed some stuff. Um, be -be 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 -be. Talk to women? No, C commit atrocities in D&D? Yeah. That D&D, that session was fucked. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> um, every D&D character I've ever played have been so similar. Just silly gals trying to make the world a better place. My first D&D character was a bard. This is Liz speaking now. Um, my first D&D character was a bard. Based. In my last D&D ca campaign, I played one of his dads during his redemption arc because his dad was the main antagonist of the first two D&D campaigns. That is a really interesting way to do that. Actually, oh, I, so yeah, when I was in Queensland, I hosted a D&D like campaign for like just like two little sessions um, for me and three other people, including Gordon Freshman here. Um, and I'd played two games of D&D before, but I'd never hosted, and I couldn't remember, like, any of the rules. I, like, was up until, like, six in the morning before we went to Australia Zoo, um, reading rules and shit. And I didn't really know how to, uh, host it, either. Um, I definitely want to try again someday soon, but I didn't really know what I was doing. But essentially, what happened in our campaign was Gordon... Heaney and my other friend Lizard, so three boys, uh, don't know each other in the story of the campaign, and one's a goblin, and was trying to rob another guy, who has a debt to another guy because he got caught, um, yeah, Gordon caught another guy robbing him, which was the other friend, and then essentially all that happened was they all didn't want anything to do with each other and kept trying to split off, and I kept trying to shoehorn them to being in a group so I could handle it. And one person was trying to buy fish. Gordon was desperate to buy a specific type of fish that the fish market didn't have. He started getting angry at him. And then ro rolled a strength check to punch the fish in rage. It rolled as one. So he basically just like bumped a fish in the head. And then his friend came over and rolled like a nat 20 or something equipped like pretty close to that and just fucking obliterated this fish and then they had to escape the guards because they destroyed someone's product and that was the entire fucking thing. Oh yeah, and then, uh... <laughs> oh god. One of the other guy's abilities was that he can make other people experience senses. Like he'll trick someone into smelling something that isn't there or seeing something that isn't there. So, he made one of the people think one of the players think that he'd shat himself. Um, 
and then he was like, your friend here just shot himself. And the guy who didn't shit himself at 40 did went to the bathroom. And guy number one was like the two. Your friend just shot himself. And then Gordon here goes, more the merrier. And then rolls to shit himself. Like rolls, a, I think it was like a strength check or something. And he tries to shit himself and doesn't manage to actually do it. And he basically just wet farts and then just leaves. <laughs> and then they escape some guards. Um, the goblin kid got stuck onto the side of a barrel because somebody was hiding inside of it and it was a little hole in the barrel and he stuck his penis into it trying to fuck him. And he got stuck in it and the barrel fell over so he was stuck like that and then someone attacked him, did a weak attack, and circumcised him. This was the kind of shit that was happening. Somebody, one of them was a woman and I believe they were so drunk and so tired from doing shit all day that he asked me if he could roll to... Uh, jetpack queef, I believe, was the term. Or squirt queef. I don't know, do something disgusting to jetpack, and I let him do it so that he could look at an owl, and that was the end of our campaign. <laughs> um, I actually have voice recordings of it. I'll, I should listen back to it someday, but yeah, that was the time I hosted a DD match. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This is new laws. Don't try to remember any of this. <laughs> God. Yeah, Dindy's fun. But similarly, list to what your idea was for um, uh, having one of your characters' dads be an antagonist and then playable later on. Keep this between me and you, Gordon. But I had played DD with our other friend, Mac Daddy, and he'd put a lot of time into making his character. So when I was hosting our match, I was actually going to make, hmm, maybe I shouldn't spoil it, fuck it, I'll spoil it, I'll make it so that you just know this somehow, but don't tell the other two players, Gordon, here's the secret, that old man that gave you the quest was Bo's character, and if you guys pissed him off, I was gonna make him attack you with his abilities that he actually has, like his knife storm and everything, so that guy was actually our other mate's character and if you attacked him he was going to attack you with all this shit and you were trying to yeah you were trying to rip his clothes off so you go to a town from a different game <laughs> um i was also going to add my dnd character from what i played um that's why the owl was there actually that he squirted up to see if you attacked nature that he didn't need to you were going to piss my character off and then you'd have to find my person that can turn into like a bear and shit um but yeah, I was going to involve my things. I don't know if I should... I don't know if we'll ever play that campaign again, but... Um, the two antagonists of that were entirely just based on memes that we kept repeating. Um, the entire thing. The only hint I'll give you is Griffin. I don't know if we'll ever play it again, but Griffin is the hint. Alright, I need to catch up the chat here. There's 12 people here. Hello, everybody. How was everybody doing? Bloody Rex Civil just showed up and jump scared me for a minute, but I was in the middle of talking. Um, what's going on here? Um, I bought sweets for my two pound profit. Pineapple cubes. Oh, they go fucking hard. My DD character cannot be mentioned online or I will be cancelled before my career even starts. Well, too late. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lissa's character's dad died in that campaign and people thought it. They'd be upset, but it was a perfect conclusion to his arc. That's so cool. I stopped playing D&D due to ADHD. I stopped playing it, it due to ADHD and struggling with concentration. People got really annoyed by it, which fair, but it made me feel like I just didn't fit in. That sucks. You need to find a group of like-minded people. So you can never advance the plot and just keep exploring shit. Which is, honestly is a good way to play it. Maybe I'd play it better now on meds, but I'm just very anxious to get back onto it. Yeah, especially if people are getting annoyed that is that it oh god, imagine hosting. Like I can barely like I don't think I've ADHD, but like god I show symptoms every now and then, you know? But like, like goddamn hosting with like full on ADHD would be i have got a lot of concentration. 
But I bet Matt Mercer's got it. Unless I get you, I'm on hiatus from my current one because I haven't been able to make it in a while because of my chronic fatigue. Every week when the session happens, I'd just be too tired, too in pain to play it. That was basically what was going on, not chronic fatigue, but one of our mates was just exhausted because he goes to bed at like 9 p.m. He was just exhausted throughout the um, entirety of that campaign. I'm constantly using drilled craft to create random smells. I gotta remember that you, you shit yourself, Tasty. <laughs> it's pretty good. It works. My bodyguard was called, was named Varian. It was a high elf early on early on during the first campaign he found an egg and I had to keep rolling like six eight IRL months until it finally hatched. Damn. Jesus Christ. My TMs were just playing with me at that point, but he got a very cool fairy dragon. I think they were just annoyed I was so desperate to keep the egg. I me and my mate literally did the same thing when we played another campaign. We, just did a mission where we killed two um, griffins, and there was an egg, and we confiscated one of them and kept it. <laughs> we're going to raise it, but I don't think we've continued that campaign. But we're determined to raise a griffin, which I wouldn't have even been able to communicate with, if no, my character's like a female, like druid person, like animal um, shapeshifter person. Um, but. I can talk to animals, but not some of them, because that's too stupid, so I can talk to like, squirrels, but I can't still talk to a griffin. The rules are so fucking weird. But, I guess better with loose rules. Chaotic evil vibes from our campaign. I just remember wanting to push the laws of the games as far as I was able to, while seeing how creative you could get. I need to have another go at it, now that I know what to expect. I think I did very badly. <laughs> I made like an entire town and then these guys were like, oh, we're going the other way. And then I just added a game, a, a town from a video game that they play. And then I made it, had been burnt down and it attacked my orcs out of spite. <laughs> oh, that was fun though. That actually was a decent campaign that last time. Like, you guys were actually doing stuff that session. You weren't helping anyone, you were just fucking robbing all the sick people, but you were doing stuff. You were actually rolling and like actually coming up with stuff. Oh, that was a good that was a good session. Um, but yeah, I'd definitely host a campaign again. I still want to do the, try it again. Actually, like, be prepared this time. Let me grab the elven family I was talking about. I did design them ages ago. I wonder if I've seen these pictures. I feel like you've sent me something to do with an elf before. I've seen a lot of your art by this point, Liz. <laughs> My whole group except one have ADHD, and one of the friends started the campaign we're doing, but after us. Then near the end, we're on chapter 3 or 4. Hmm. I keep forgetting that, um, you can just, like, campaigns pre-exist, and people don't just make them. <laughs> Jinx. We just keep trying to run our pub. I actually, because I write, I haven't written stuff in like a couple of weeks, but I write um, stuff. I've written short films. I've made short films. Um, I'm actually writing something at the moment. Um, but one of the things I wanted to write that was mostly just a pipe dream, but mostly just to get it out of my head was like a, um, there was two things. There were both fantasy things. I were just like things I just wanted to get out of my head, despite um, like very light intention to ever make them. Um, but one of them was called Rock the Wizard, like Rock exclamation point, the wizard. Meaning the character's name is Rock, and it's all just like very goofy fucking, pretty much like Bill and Ted meets Lord of the Rings. Meets like Ocarina of Time, kind of. Just like recruiting people of all these different races, like species that can play different instruments to take down this um, evil like metallurgist. But metal being as in metal music, so it's very like Jack Black-esque type thing. But the other thing, I actually have, I forgot, I've subscribed to like a D&D map maker for that, I had like a whole map and shit. Um, but the other thing was just, I had like an idea that I didn't write, but I was just like, someone should make this because I would want to watch it, but I don't want to make it myself. But it was just like, um, 
like a fucking like Seinfeld like serial not drama but it's like comedy thing like Brooklyn Nine-Nine almost sunny in Philadelphia kind of thing but it's like a fantasy thing and it's just people running in inn but like every episode is like up some other mythology thing happens or some fucking something just there's like nothing to that aside from this being like it's a fantasy setting and that people running it in and it's a comedy but I feel like if there's anything like that somebody needs to tell me because I just want to watch that I don't want to make it I just want to watch it my brain yeah that's what map reminded me of when I'm running the pub it's also kind of like the end of um season two of uh fucking uh our flag means death my brain works in mysterious ways. I'm actually scared to see what happens when I finally get my videos together. Watch them get like a million bajillion views, and then you'll be shouting me out, and I'll be depending on it. <laughs> You're gonna eclipse me, like Koi Boy's essentially done. Oh, when characters just become a weird mix match. My bond became more so a necromancer later down the line. That's an arc. Um, despite him not wanting to be one because of his dad. Is it bad for you that I just seen a lot of yarn? No. It just means we've been talking for like months. That's weird actually, it's been like a while since Star Being started. Actually, I was talking in this Discord for this um, server to just somebody over text, and they were like, Wait, I recognize your name. I watched your Sim Castle video. I was like, Huh. Whoops. <laughs> I've been recognized. Over Discord. Um. Something, something water deep. Can't remember which specific one. Whoa. Is that Raxable? No, someone else. Bill and Ted means the Lord of the Rings, two of my favorite things himself. <laughs> I think it's pretty solid. I had like a word document of all like the main characters and stuff, but it was very very loose. Like one of the main one of the main characters that they recruit into their band, but like bands don't exist yet or something like that. But like they have to essentially make a band to like take down the evil wizard antagonist, whatever. But one of the characters' names I was been saying to my girlfriend for ages that she's going to voice because it was essentially animal from the Muppets. Um, how do you get it? You guys know what he looks like, but let me just get a pick up. This guy, it's essentially this guy. The idea was it's like a jungle that just has these like red, like, things like this. Um, but their whole deal was like percussion. So it was literally just going to be essentially this guy, but more of like a short goblin thing. Um, but I wasn't gonna let it speak, I was just gonna make it make, like, disgusting gremlin sounds, and that was what my girlfriend was gonna do, because she often does that. <laughs> and its name was literally just gonna be exclamation point, and it's written in the word dot as exclamation point. Send the art to your Discord. Very androgynous looking elves. It sucks because being a female player that plays male characters, though, because people constantly call your character she. Yeah, it's- there's a lot of things to keep track of. Been wild, yeah, it felt like months. And here they are. Here is Lissa's elf DD family. The fuck? I <laughs> saw 25, 14, 8, yeah, 226, 268. Damn, I like this guy. Because he's green and brown. This guy's. This chick person, this person's dripped out of the. Um, like, kind of reddish purple, the gold and black, it goes hard. What the feathers too? Yellow and pink are always good together. This looks like a himbo, or whatever they identify as, as a equivalent of a himbo. They're the parents and had kids later. Oh, uh, okay. Cool, so I get with this person. Basically. Azrael. I am literally Azrael. Palladium is a man. He just looks very feminine. Oh, okay. Cool, so I get this guy. Oh, he's got heels too. It's like a Gerudo heels with the big ass gold boots. Let's go. 
This guy, this is a very main character coded guy, this guy in the middle. He's even got these stupid plum, they got plum bobs on him. <laughs> the circles. Yeah, I, I love Azrael. The, the colors on this one are so satisfying as well, and this is just dripped. And, oh, I like cherry blossom antlers. Okay. Oh, it's got a wing. Oh my god. So I wonder I haven't got into, like, roaring OCs. I was always kind of turned off by it because I think I saw, like, the bad end of, um, people using OCs, like, a kind of weaponized way. Whenever I heard the term, I was like, oh, that's, a, like, that's like an annoying evil person thing. <laughs> Not evil person, but, like, that's like a, um, you know, naughty people thing. They're, like, mean to each other thing. But... That is not the, what it is. I just had seen the wrong thing. Um, first three dudes, the last three are girls. There's only five people here. But that makes sense. Last two are girls. <laughs> Sophia is so cute. Is that the. It's the antler one. Brian was the bird. I'm, I keep looking back at it. Yeah, Brian goes hard. That's kind of what I envisioned the character, main character of um, Rock the Wizard looking like. Azrael's a good guy. He's also the only one that stays alive. Don't tell me like the little girl dies <laughs> with the wings. What are you doing awake at 3.30 in the morning? I don't know. I don't know. I normally go to sleep around 5, 6 a.m. or work the night shift. Yeah, you did sir. Wait. Sigmatic. That's a new name. They keep leaving and joining. Is a wireless open? Alright, cool. We got a full inventory of wood. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's not there. Dang. Dang. Willow dies, yeah. It's he main cause of all the problems within the family because it was an accident caused by Palladium. Oh god. Caused by Palladium. This family is bad luck. What's DG? It's this guy that keeps leaving Digmatic. Leaving and joining. I thought they were like somebody new to the server because we're all waiting for the new people to be added. Um, like in a day or two. But apparently he's not new. I think he's getting kicked whenever I say something. If he rejoins, I'll wait a minute and then sit. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I need to get rid of the sword. Use apples. I put my laptop off a while ago to play Sims Mini Evil, remember? It's still doing fucking Windows updates. Oh my gosh. Win like Windows 32? What are you on? People run a virtual machine to run when you're actually running. <laughs> actually, I've got Windows updates. It just keeps... Whenever I shut down my computer, it comes up with, like, update and shut down. I'm like, no. I'm leaving now. I got stuff. I had to make this new Minecraft skin for a video. That's supposed to look more like me than my Bean Man thing. But I could not quite get it right. <laughs> he's got a beard along here, it's close enough. And he's got the bloody purple shoes that I have in real life. You see the fucking pants I'm wearing right now. I got them from, I got them from the Netherlands outside of that huge giant shopping center with the uh, art on the ceiling. It's like a market outside, I got these like, purple trackies. I go hard. I think he's getting kicked because of the whitelist. Um, no, well, apparently he's not new. Apparently he's been on the server before, is what they were saying. He's... Minecraft's just killing. Just ending itself. <laughs> so close on what I want to do today. I want to draw, but I also don't feel like drawing. You said earlier you were going to stream as well. Still wild to hear you talk about the Netherlands as well? Yeah, it is. It could have been meters from each other, who knows? 
outfit. I got a purple belt, I got purple pants, and that's like the two main things I bought there. I got a shot glass as well. I almost got clogs. I almost got them, but I didn't commit. I would, I would, I, I reckon I could pull off clogs. What do you reckon? I don't know if that's cro like cultural appropriation, <laughs> but I reckon I can pull them off. They wear them. Apparently, they made wooden shoes because, like, farming and some, they didn't want the feet to get wet. But I thought wood would like swell. I guess wet. It makes sense to me. I'm Australian. I'm stuck to thongs. We use as weapons. Windows 10 with an almost seven-year-old laptop. That is a lifespan for a laptop. I had a laptop that was like kind of decent. Like it could run some Minecraft mods and stuff. And it lasted like maybe three years. Why are you Aus? You are Austrian with an L. Yep. I, I never know when to be like, oh, how could you not tell that I'm Australian? Or like, how did you know I was Australian? Because people always say it's like very hit and miss. The people that are like. Like, say it's really obvious, or say it's really not. I got a bit of a little bit Americanized in terms of accent due to bloody shows and media, but I think I stand I think I stand pretty back in Australia. I can still pull out the big Aussie accent whenever I need it. Whenever I need to go fully Aussie mode. My mate was actually getting like yelled by like some random Ashes. Ashes is an Australian thing. It's like kid, it's like child gangsters. Um, these Ashes that were like probably gonna have a go at him and he just matched their energy. So like, oh man, you got some pizza? Where are you at from? And he was just like, oh man, I got from down and fucking right here. And I was like, oh yeah. And it was like sort of going back and forth, just like basically fucking with each other. It was like his survival instinct was to just meet their energy. There was one guy in the group that was just staring at him. <laughs> he like, sent a voice message talking about this like a minute later. He's like, fuck, that was terrifying. <laughs> he's just shaking in his boots while he's doing like the full like, fuck, I need I got some paper around him, I need. It's like Owen Wilson. Wow. 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 Loki, it's not all about the glorious purpose. I think people are surprised that I'm not actually a talking car. Cops an American accent, so it's the thing keeping me back. Still runs games. 26 gigabyte SimCC folder, my beloved. Let's start with stuff slow no matter what I do. Just needs to warm up a bit. What's that Tristan Legend looks like Owen Wilson? He does. Like Owen Wilson, if he was like a. I don't even know. I think Tristan's kind of, kind of, kind of a dude. I kind of like Shaggy. Owen Wilson cross Shaggy kind of guy. Cross Jesus maybe because he's a carpenter. He's got long hair. He stands in the desert. I didn't even draw that connection until now. Probably not intentional. All right, I'm gonna need to draw this boy to a point, and then we're just gonna make a bunch of stick. Oh, it's at the perfect height too. There's a fucking donkey on top again. Yeah, that dude went back and put the donkey. Cracks of all. One of the donkeys on my story. Um, where are you visiting? I had visited the Netherlands uh, like a month or two ago. That was my first time going overseas without like family. It was just me and my girlfriend. That was very, very lovely. There's some like really satisfying food. Even we like stayed at the Generator Hotel, which is like a hostel. Like a, the cheapest option thing, and there's like a kitchen downstairs, and the food isn't great, but like after you've been walking all day and like looking at museums, it's like it's magical. But yeah, there were there were some places in the Netherlands where I felt very like at peace, like it felt very like calm, because everyone there was pretty like I sort of expected a bit of like like grifters and stuff, like as it would be anywhere in the world, but I never really saw anything. There wasn't any like people on the street begging or anything. I, I almost went to the red light district. 
I walked past it. Clayboy's on! Oh my god, it's him! It's the Lord of the Server. He left. Oh. Hates us. He's deleting the server. Tristan Legend is sly as fuck. <laughs> Netherlands was your first country? Uh, it's not my first country overseas, it's my first country, like, traveling. Um, just without, like, family, parents. First place overseas, which is the only other place, was, um, Bali. Which is only, like, a two-hour flight from Australia. But that was for a wedding, which is very, very cool. It was very hot, because it's right on the equator. So it was, like, 35 degrees every day. And you can't drink tap water, because it's too, um, it's not, uh, yeah, purified. So you have to get water in like cups with like little cellophane lids on it. Um, come to England next time. Hopefully Liverpool. I'll treat you both to some food and drinks. Ah, uh, wood meth, but it's just British. <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna be a while until I go overseas again. I need to make up some monies. First, I've been applying to like a lot of different stuff. I actually applied to edit for another Australian YouTuber. Um, you can go find him and pressure him. Um, but, I don't know, there's a lot of places that I'd like to go eventually. I would go to England at some point, but it's not high on the list, to be honest. It would be if like I was visiting people I knew. Like, um, my friends got family there, and my girlfriend's, like, got some family there as well. So for that, like, I'd go. There's a couple things there I want to see. Play some Assassin's Creed Syndicate before I go, so I can know all the stories off by heart. Go and find, um... Baker Street? Is that where Sherlock lives? Where does Sherlock live? I think it's Baker Street. But I want to go to Norway. Norway's a big one. Netherlands is like right next door and it looks, not Netherlands, uh, New Zealand. It looks like Norway and it's right next door, so I want to go there. To Milford Sound specifically. I've shown it on stream, like, stream a couple of times. It's like a huge lake with waterfalls and stuff. Someone's sneaking around on my fucking... It's like a huge lake with waterfalls and stuff. I've shown it a bunch. You can look it up if you want to look at it. Um, but I've got a poster of a painting of it on my wall. By Eugene von Guerard. It's my favorite painting. I really want to go there, because they do boat tours, and I think there's seals and shit in the water? My best mate just went there recently with his girlfriend. He's very jealous. I'd like to go to Germany as well for like chocolate and stuff. I think there's a Lego place there as well. Is that? Oh, it's Koi Boy. Man, I was thinking of whitelisting now, but 8 out of 9 slots is a bad start. Nine slots for 2,000 people, yeah, jeez. Ow, oh, my legs, fuck. The fuck do you say to me? Huh? What do you fucking say to me? Uh, um... <clears throat> I'm on stream That's right crazy. now, don't say anything inappropriate. What did you say? Nice fuck stream you got there. <laughs> don't say the funny word. What? What's the funny word? What? Can you say it for me so I know not to say it? <laughs> Get out of here. Nah, I'm just chilling. Just seeing what's, what's going on with you. Just, um, I don't know how you have the patience to build an entire tree. My hands are very, very sore. It's because I can't build a real building. All these sure. buildings look like really nice and detailed. I can't build that shit, so I'm just gonna build the biggest thing on the server instead. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works, right? Yeah, I saw it. I fucking I died when my bed blew up, and I went back to spawn, and I could see it from there. <laughs> I mean, I can see it all the way from my house, so it's working. Where are you at? You want you want to see what I'm doing? Follow me. Wait, have you got, uh, oh, fireworks? Shit. Oh shit! Yeah, I got a couple. I <laughs> just have them equipped. Alright, right, let's go. Right. <laughs> let's go. Where are we on on a journey to go and see this guy's house? Apparently a 
America, man. Whoa. Where is he? I lost him. There he is. I'll catch up on stream in a second. <laughs> in stream chat. Where is this guy? Keeps slowing down. It's like those planes in American made, I can't keep up slowly enough for. Damn, look at these trees, this is nice as hell. Very, look at those caves over there to the right, with the water in them. And if you look to your right, you'll see our magical forest. Oh, he's the guy that's living in the phallic castle. Well, my game one is correct. Oh my god. Hey. You're the one with the phallic Welcome castle. Welcome to the crib. Fat. You should call it fat. <laughs> phallic. Oh, phallic castle. Yes, I am. I am. Oh, who's that? How's that clue boy? Playboy's coming around to bless everybody with his precious oh, shit. presence. It's fucking zooming, oh my god. So, so and all. <laughs> it type in mid air. Oh, show shit. off. Did you just do a backflip? What? What the fuck? Okay, did you see that? I. <laughs> what? The man, the myth, the legend. How did you do a backflip? Thank oh, you. How did you do a backflip? Wait no, I gotta be in, yeah, I gotta be an imposing Australian. Was an imposing Australian? Okay, he's gone. <laughs> oh, oh he knows once more. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I was trying to think of something as imposing to say. What? Man, you nailed it. Good job. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'll know that I robbed his iron <laughs> five minutes ago? Let's hope not. <laughs> these fucking boars? What are these? Are these water hooks? Yeah, they're boars. How the hell did you get them over it? Just, uh, well, they were spawned near, nearby in that, like, blue looking forest over there. Oh, shit. I need to find a way to transport animals better. I'm, I'm trying to get cows and shit. I've got two cows in my mouth. You can use these uh, carts over here. That's what you fucking An animal do. cart. What, so you can put animals in these? Yeah. Yeah, so one big animal or two small ones. Fuck, okay. I didn't know that. It's pretty, info. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you just, uh, with a animal with a saddle, you just hit R near it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's sick. That's, really like, yeah. That's epic. I, I have to fucking make one of these now. Yeah, do it. My stream just said this isn't a free range I mean, farm. Actually... <laughs> oh no, this is factory farming at its peak, my friend. <laughs> you haven't been to KFC? Yeah, they, that came from me. That's all I'll say. You're right. on Channel Sanders? That's me. Yeah, you doesn't have this one. I mean, I, I'm, I'm done. Why do people keep giving me things? I feel bad. Okay, fine. Give it back. I want it. Damn. Give me, give me. <laughs> someone gave me like a full Elytra. And so then rude. Gave me some Denying a gift. Huh? Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. I don't care. You just deny my gift. It's fine. I don't... I'm not actually even that bothered by it. So, it's fine. I was given an unbreaking okay book and an elytra for free. I, I'm freeloading, and then I rubbed oh, yeah, points. This, uh, <laughs> this is from when I was streaming, and I died literally. I ha I was looking at the elytra in the barrel, and then I died. <laughs> <laughs> so someone went went after I rage quit and and got it for me. I have no idea who it was. <laughs> it might have been Braxable. I think he got me my one. Yeah, maybe. Ah, oh, legendary. Right, I'm going to take some photos for evidence for court. If you could just stand yeah, right in frame to just pose. criminalize yourself. My, my hair's not yeah. ready, fuck. Get your hair ready. <clears throat> Good, alright. Make your most, like, I'm 
like, I, I'm a bad man, I'm criminalizing myself, but it's right now. Okay, what next? Say five to ten years without, uh, uh, what's it? Parole. Say parole. Parole. Awesome, we'll take that to the court. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, now we need a court. <laughs> I mean, that's what that's what I'm building. Uh, this whole thing's gonna be like the neutral zone between all the fucking ridiculous law nations that have sprung up. Wait, actually? Shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna be cool. Uh, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it yet, but it's gonna happen. Sorry, I, I should probably go. My little brother just came and pulled me off. Alright, so right now. <laughs> nice to meet you, shake hands. Yeah, yeah. Shake hands. Alright, thank you. Bye bye. Oh, sorry. Yeah, see you later. What a loser. Let's see my tree from here. <laughs> Alright, sorry, I guess I'm on the stream. Chat. Um, when is your birthday? Oh, Gordon, it's really nice in summer, sitting in the beer garden, just vibing in the UK. Beer garden sounds good. I don't like beer, but <laughs> I probably would force myself to get into it there. I had a, um... Fuck, what was it called? I had some kind of Dutch beer that is popular in Australia. And I was like, well, I guess I'll have one, and me and my girlfriend took maybe an hour to drink one bottle, because it sucked. <laughs> we do not like beer. Um... When is your birthday, by the way, Star? It's in July, it's sort of coming up. My girlfriend's is in June, and my mate's is in May, so I have, I have some prezzies to buy. I have, I have to work some stuff out. Um, speaking of June, it'll be on our bloody anniversary then as well. I got a lot of, I got a lot of shopping to do. Berlin was super nice when I went in 2016. I hope you get the chance to visit the UK. I also want to visit Germany, trying to get an E46 M3. Is that a gun? I bet it is. You're a gun guy. You're a loser. There are two Star Beings talking at once. That guy was American. What are you talking about? <laughs> is that American? It was Australian as meat pies and kangaroos. I was in mood. I hate my state, but I enjoy the small circles I've joined. Overcrowded farm. <laughs> that, that farm did not look like a happy place for those animals. Tell Koi the Tell Koi homie that I may have found an exploit. Have you been on I thought you haven't been on the server yet. I found an exploit already. Um good I woke up feeling sick this morning and taking some extra vitamins and then sleeping a bunch it definitely helps you feel better almost instantly. Holy shit, so many animals, they don't look free. Everyone saying those animals don't look free, set them free, homie shaking hands with stream college. I hate beer, don't worry, and wine. Anything that isn't spirits is yucky. Yeah, mood. My birthday is June 30. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, I will do meth on stream for Meth's birthday. Then my brother's been hired to write stuff on Mobilytics. He writes guides on Elden Ring now. There's Mobilytics. They write game guides, something like an online forum thing. Like, uh, GameStop? Oh wow, Noel's theme from Delta is playing in the background. Oh, I didn't even notice. I felt the music like really down low on my headset. I forgot that I had it on, to be honest. Let me turn it back up. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Alright, well now I know you can get a cart to, uh, transport animals. So, the idea of bringing giraffes and lizards and all sorts of stuff here. It's a bit more viable now. Keen for that. <laughs> I love that the voice shouts that Koi didn't even use it, he's the one that owns the server. <laughs> Did a backflip, landed on us, flexed on us, and left again. Um, when's your birthday again, Star? July. July. I'm a cancer. In more than one ways. And what's Speed's birthday? September 2nd. Steps up a tooth. It's a massive online site for guides and news. Damn. GG to your brother. That'd be very exciting. It's 
especially since it's in the gaming circle as well. Cancer powers, meth. <laughs> I forgot the dune extends to cancer. Wait, no, but my girlfriend isn't cancer. Is it just like the end of June that there's also cancer? I don't remember. Or is Mef just saying that they are cancer? <laughs> there's a lot of ways to interpret what's going on right now. That's why my forces is all the way up here now. And all the sheep up here. Oh my god. Oh, this song is the new Never Minecraft uh, disc. June 21st is start of cancer season. Ah. I didn't even know that's how it worked. I thought it was just literally like each 31 or 30 days of each month. I thought it was like July is cancer, next one's Capricorn, blah blah blah. I wouldn't even know. I don't, I don't know nothing about star signs. I've been asked my star sign. I work, I'm like, I bartend. I've been asked my star sign by people and I've just like, Okay, so I'm like, oh, so what does that mean? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, oh, I'll we'll never do it. <laughs> I feel like people go to do it as like a conversation point, expecting each other person to know what, like, it extends from, and there's no one actually knows. It's just some common folk that knows this information. My brother's cancer too, July 11th. Oh, well, that's crazy. That is, that is my birthday. <laughs> wow. I literally, huh, funny, I literally, possibly, uh, he's probably older. It's about the same age, I was born on the exact same day as your brother. But same date, that's crazy. 21st is each sign star, oh, okay. Huh. That's weird. I guess maybe because it's, uh, not the Roman calendar or whatever we're using. Um, that'd be the Zodiac, wouldn't it? So that works. So do you Chinese? They probably have the different, different have Chinese calendar. Why are all the animals escaping? Look at everything up here. Everything's escaping to this like little black bit up here. Hey, at least I can breed them, so I can populate it all more. Uh, we don't have any golden carrots for the horses though. That is lovely. Look at all those sheep. Very good. And then it's the three cows. The goal is to make this place peaceful and pretty and populated by lots of animals. Uh, I usually try to remember birthdays because I like drawing stuff for people. I've seen people do that, they draw um, pictures of people for their birthdays. I think, actually, my girlfriend used to do that. Yeah, that's who I'm thinking of. She used to do that for a friend group back in the day, like a long, long time ago. Her profile picture on Discord hasn't changed since she made her Discord account and it's still a pencil drawing of Loki from, like, Marvel Loki. I bully her about it every now and then, but she doesn't care. <laughs> this is actually a decent drawing. I need to repair my axe a little bit. There's a Pokemon song that's playing now. I know what my own means and like a few of my friends, but if some rando was like, I'm an Aquarius Sun, a Scorpio Moon, a Sagittarius Rising, oh, I don't know these second parts, like Moon and Sun and Shield and Sapphire and Emerald and shit, I don't know this stuff. X and Y, Scarlet and Violet, I don't know these extensions at all. But there's DLC knowledge that I'm not unlocked, or intend to unlock at any point. Although, I would have said that about The Sims. And now I'm here. Alright, that branch is looking good. Bit uneven, but just a bit warty. Trees are a bit warty. Let's keep working on this branch here. Um. <clears throat> Cancer is a fun sign, very social people usually, though a sun sign usually isn't a whole lot to get a good sign of someone. Oh, the idea of someone. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say so. I don't think it means anything, to be honest. But I need the birth time in place, too. However, your main sign represents who you are at your core and what you strive to be in life. I don't know if... 
I'm not adverse to that idea that signs like can dictate what kind of person you might be. I don't know if I'm adverse to it, but I, not like, yes, absolutely. But, I don't know. How big is this tree gonna get? Well, I'm thinking donkey. I'm thinking that this peak here is the top, but I just need to add like branches and stuff. So I'm done with the branches, we'll see. Probably won't get much taller than that. I just have to branch up the top into lots of branches coming off and then put the leaves on and then get to build rooms and decorate and shit. But that won't be the stream because that'll take a long, long, long time. I forgot to bring some torches up. I'm gonna make some charcoal. Damn, this is a pretty area. Oh yeah, I was saying earlier that like never once there was like some spots where it was just like felt very peaceful. I, I liked leaving a lot because it wasn't like there wasn't like a ton of stuff going on in that town. Um, but just like the windmills and people were just like biking around, people were chatting to each other. Like we were sat mm, sort of near the um, water, like a wharf and some cafe, and we just got like some sandwiches. And there was like an old bloke that walked in, and I don't think. Like, the owner was related or anything, but, like, every person that came in, they just, like, stopped and had a chat. Which isn't uncommon in Australia as well, but it was really nice to see in a different country. Um, but it's just, like, lots of grass and, like, huge fucking geese. Huge, huge, huge geese. Like, massive. Um, is Koi Homey on? Yes, he is. Actually, got a full house right now, almost. Um... Uh, I used to have a Loki phase too. Yeah, I've, my girlfriend's friends have worked out that um, my girlfriend kind of had a, a type. She was like, oh, Loki's pretty, and so is Hosier, and so is like all these, and so is Aragorn, like, so is all these bearded, long haired men that look a little bit weird. It's like basically her type is long hair, beard, and a little bit weird looking. A bit of a pattern that happened she didn't realize i too had a loki phase in high school my family still reminds me of it my, my girlfriend's nieces and nephews call me loki that's how they remember me that's been going on since before we were even dating actually wait did you share my birth your birthday with my brother yeah july 11th probably not the same year but it is july 11th funnily enough That was, that was a crazy coincidence. I guess astrology is fun, but not concrete. Name my first hamster Loki. Tumblr had too great an impact on my personality, like shaping of wheat in. That is literally what happened to my girlfriend. She read a Merlin fanfic the other day. She goes for a lot of fanfics, and some of them are like, she tells me, like, I'm like fucking biblical, like, really actually good. Because some shows are like subpar and then people would just be like, I don't know how to improve this, and then they do. I think that's so fucking cool. The only fanfic I ever read was a, um, ad admittedly, regrettably, admittedly, was a Z-Link fanfiction. Like, Zelda and Link fanfiction. Um, but it wasn't all just some, <laughs> like, raw dog, and in fact, there was none of that. It was just a, um, story that kind of expanded on the hero's uh, Gauntlet DLC or whatever it was called for Breath of the Wild, and it was actually done very, very well. Um, I had a lot of like flashbacks and stuff about Link's like family and shit as well. Um, they extended it in going into Tears of Kingdom. I haven't caught up on it yet though, but I think it was called Couple of the Wild or something like that. Don't remember, but it's actually a it was actually pretty good. Um, <clears throat> um, I think astrology is fun, but not concrete. I didn't know it, but I, until I went deeper in, into it and realized how on point things get when you have the full chart. Like, it's almost scarily accurate then. After looking to the full chart, that'll be something me and my girlfriend can look at. Someone just land next to me again. Fucking creeper, man. Uh, uh, uh. Um, 
Yes, I have my full chart and its interpretations are scar scarily accurate. Like the star themselves said Lolly of ADHD and feel too much. <laughs> Can you PM to look at it? CC PM. Koi. Koi New Black said look at his DM because of alleged exploit he found. Um, <clears throat> I read 220,000 of Lord of the Rings fanfic in one night because I slept in the day and my niece was staying over and sharing my room and I promised her I'd stay over all night. She's anxious at, at the moment. So Lord of the Rings fic. I actually don't, never really thought about Lord of the Rings fic. It's so huge. It's like, it makes so much sense. I believe he's a year old and he was 23. Yes, yeah, so he was born an exact year later. Um, no, some fanfics are incredible. I still remember this one Hitalia fanfic. I don't even know what that is. Um, I made the characters humans and took place in World War II, but it was beautifully written, like genuinely made me cry. <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend experienced that with um, Our Flag Means Death. If you don't know what that is, it's like an HBO binge show. I don't remember which it's on, but it's um, pirates. Like, pirates that existed. Um, uh, fuck, what are the pirates' names? One, the main one's played by Reese Dalby, who's a Kiwi actor. Um, and Blackbeard is played by Taika Waititi, and he's a producer on it, but he doesn't direct it or anything like that. And they are gay on it. And it's like a non-binary character called Jim, he's really cool. But they. Um, <clears throat> but it's just like a really funny show and the first season of it like slapped and people like made incredible fanfic and it, some of it even like predicted the second season and the second season came out first half of it was really good then they killed off um a character that everyone shipped with blackbeard um and everyone was like why and then people i looked up um what the director thought of that character and he thought that that character was a father figure to blackbeard and people had been shipping them so everyone was like what the fuck and then the second half of the show was straight ass for some reason like all of it was bad i only saw the second half because my girlfriend was watching it with her cousins um he was like always like watched and binge these shows every time they see a show for like a week um and now the show's not getting rebooted so that's a damn shame, because it was a very good show when it was going. But my girlfriend was reading a fanfic where the pirates all go, or some of them at least go to, like, America, like, of the time. So, like, 18 on a 1200s or something like that, and become cowboys. And apparently it's actually like, really fucking good. <laughs> um, I think she did cry over that one. Um... I used to write Hitalia fan. What is Hitalia? I don't even know what that is. I'm looking it up. I don't know how much longer I'll stream for, by the way. My voice is getting pretty sore. As you can probably tell, as I'm speaking quite uh, softly. Hitalia is this. I've never seen this in my life. It's an anime, it looks like. And there's an Australian guy, and there's a Kiwi guy. funny. It, is it Italy? It appears to be a war anime. It looks a bit silly. Um, he used to write a fanfic of that, Meph did, and his GCSE English writing piece was heavily disguised as a fruit fic. <laughs> <laughs> I once wrote 934 pages of a story of an old friend. The word count was more than the Lord of the Rings books combined. I could never replicate that nowadays. Damn. That's a lot. It kind of fucks in my head that the longest piece of fiction ever written was a Loud House fanfiction. That beat the Smash Bros. fanfiction that previously was the top one. But I don't even know what Loud House is. It's just like a show with a kid with white hair. That's all I know about it. But that is the longest piece of fiction in human history. I mean, as far as we know. Maybe some stuff got lost. A supernatural fic made me cry, but it wasn't anything to do with the relationship. 
It was what the doctor did with the angels and the deaths and stuff. It was so heart wrenching. Was it heart wrenching my little edit in the uh, PSP video? <laughs> when Watsies tells the old one that he, he loves him and then just gets sent to Super Hell. I can't believe that's an actual plot point. My girlfriend used to watch that. And she hasn't actually finished it, but I just remember her being like, what? Because I think the world ends in the end. Hitalia is countries as humans. I think mortal engines, except the humans instead of vehicles. That just sounds kind of funny. I remember for the Olympics a couple of years ago, they made a bunch of anime depictions of um, countries and stuff. And the Australian one was a white, a blonde hair, blue eyed guy with a giant chest. Which is like kind of accurate, but. Um, that would be a, just a full on white Australian as opposed to an Aboriginal Australian, which would have been nice. But it looked pretty good anyway. Um, angst is good shit. <laughs> Sometimes you just want that herd slash no comfort. Supersonic? Oh, there was good omens a while back, I think. Oh yeah, good omens is good as well. Oh my god, please don't look up Hitalia. Too late. I don't watch many series. Venture Bros is super good though. I absolutely love that. Like that series was good all the seasons through and it sucks I got cancelled and had to end early. I feel like I saw something about that recently. I know what it is though. It's got uh, Patrick Warburton in it. I think. I think he's a main guy, isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't that a character in... I think the right guy. Oh, Matt. I've said, oh my god, I forgot to mention that the Supernatural edit I did in the PSP video made him laugh. And they gotta go now. Bye-bye, Matt. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you being here. Um... Adventure Bros is what I'm thinking of. Um, it is what I'm thinking of, yeah. Doesn't this character appear in the Steam game, the inventory, where you just play poker with random, like the Heavy and GLaDOS and people? And the f semi canon was that this person is related to the main character from Evil Dead? Because he's Polish? I'm pretty sure that's an interaction they have in the inventory. That's all I know about that show though, apart from the gif of him being like, Take it! Take my gun from me! He just looks like a fucking toy dead of his mind. <laughs> I should have watched it actually, it looks funny. I think I might actually stream in an hour from now myself. I'll probably end the stream in like, very soon. And go to bed. But I will... If I'm not asleep, I will tune in. And if I miss it, I will watch the VOD, if it is available, depending on what you do. Um, New Bros is an adult swim series. It's genuinely good, unlike most series. It gets better every season. The villains are so much fun to... I, I saw your, um, you did an animatic and you used audio from it. With, uh, Churchy. Serki, or whatever, how the fuck that name is pronounced, and, um, and Loki. Um, and he had his machinery in the bed, his fucking vomit recycler. What time is it over there for you? It's like quarter past four in the morning. Um, we're gonna finish this branch and call it a night. This server conned me into uh, revealing to you guys sleepy, grumbling, soul throat starving <laughs> at four in the morning. There's a stream to fall asleep to. I love how you pronounce Churchy's name. It sounds like Circus and Churchill. I called it Churchill at one point. I'd... You told me how to pronounce it as well. You told me how to pronounce Van Gap Van Van as well. Australian. 
I can only do I can only do so much with an Australian dialect. With three different versions of the way word mate. It's mate mot and mat. Not officially, but people know. Mate is like formal, mat is like semi-formal. And mot is what you call your mate. Like actual mate mate. Like, oh how's it going, mate? You talk to a boss. Hey Mart. Talking to someone that you've seen a few times, you have a bit of a banter with. Hey Mort. Someone that you know. That's how it works. You will never see that written anywhere, but that that's, that's what I'm telling you is correct. <laughs> You'll notice it when people speak. It's not even like a thought of things, just how people do it subconsciously. Hopefully you don't have to sleep too long. Oh, I don't have to sleep too long. <laughs> You'll die. Um, Churchy's pronounced Cersei. Oh, Cersei. Nah, it's Churchy. It's Churchy. Why don't you use Oak Lattice as Lattice? Oak Lattice. I didn't even know that was a thing. What the hell is this? I didn't even know this was a block that you could have. Was it? Yes, like that? Plants. Oh, you can put plants in. Oh, put it up a wall and you put plants in it. That's actually really cool. You can climb it. That is actually really cool. I'm going to be putting that all over the tree to put plants in. That's cool. I like that. I'm going to save it there. Kid me would not be able to pronounce that. <laughs> Whoops, I meant to wake up too early. <laughs> Hope you sleep on one hour. What will you stream or spin? Lazan Von Gorard. That's not your name. I really hope that's not your name. No, Van Gorard is an artist. His dog's your actual name. By accident. Yep, saw it. Huh. Saw the message. Finally left the R. Ancient city after being lost in it for three days. Damn. See if we can tweak it a little bit. There you go, playing New Black. On my Instagram. I know it's Lazan, which I only learned like uh, the other day when I had to. When I, when I see it. Oh, that's when I sent you money. Um, when I PayPal'd you, I saw your name. I was like, oh my god, it's hidden law. Lis, Lis, oh, Lis, Lis Hana, Lis Hana. I thought it was just Lizanne. Ah. Oh. I literally just read it as Lizanne. Lizana. Like lasagna? Garfield? L li sa lasana. Hey Koi. <laughs> I'm like literally about to end the stream in a minute, but welcome. Lasange. Okay. Lately, Sana. I haven't made his name Sana. His dad is very Dutch. I actually asked. I'm just like actually walking in, um, like walking through the Netherlands near the Buddha Bridge. That's the near the um uh, the Jewish Resistance Museum, or the Dutch Resistance Museum. Um, I was walking like past there with my girlfriend. I was. Like, and I was like, 
oh, I wonder if, like, we've um, noted down in our Word doc, like, everything that's around, and I've realized, oh, wait, our friend who's fucking from the Netherlands, or, like, whose dad is literally Dutch. I hit him up, and I was like, yeah, I'm in the Netherlands right now, and he's like, what? But his name is Sana with, like, S-A-N-N-E, which would never look like how you think it's pronounced. I think he actually used to spell it S-U-N-N-E-R instead, just because it was easier for our mid-English minds. It's Sana. Dutch pronunciation. I do like lasagna though. Let's go. Most of international people call me Liz or Lizzie. Yeah, I've just been going Liz. Thought for a second I might have been Lizzie. Uh, probably just Sims 2, keep it easy before I stream games like Overwatch I'm gonna get a bit better at. Sana, my mate is like, he used to train people in Overwatch, like get paid and like train people. Never actually played it myself though. I played it, I played it for like literally like 10 seconds a very, very long time ago. At somebody else's house on an Xbox. For a building and tree, yep. Speaking of building and tree, I think I'm going to call it there. A couple of things to look into now. <laughs> I've learned a lot on this stream. You look at this um, full star sign chart thing as well. There's a bat branch. It looks good though. Just need to spread that stuff out a bit. Yggdrasil, basically. It'd be cool if we could. Um, like the ice highway, like Jormungandr. A giant fucking rainbow snake going past. I should put like a giant snake going up my tree, that'd be pretty cool. If it was Yggdrasil though, there'd be a dragon down there, or a neat hog, and then a squirrel up on the top. I know, an eagle, dragon, and a squirrel goes between them right at Oscar. He's voiced by ProZD in God of War thing. Take a photo for the progress. And I always do my progress photos down on that little bit of dirt right there. There we go. It's a bit symmetrical. Looks like it's like a dude throwing his arms up like... Argh. Looking pretty decent. Needs a couple more branches, probably one on this side. Probably one. Yeah, we need to add some more branches coming out here as well. Come that way. Getting there. Maybe like two more major branches and a couple small ones. Sky Island. Yeah, damn, that was good. Screenshot. Oh, let me get back a little bit more. Ugh. Get that shitty ass out of there. Get out of there. There we go. Gorgeous. All of that. I didn't even mean to stream today, that just sort of happened out of nowhere and then I went for like four and a half hours. Um, but yeah, I gotta do a lot of Sims 2 still, so it's still setting up my current strange now. Is the tree gonna get a leaf soon? Yeah, when I'm done with the branches, it's gonna be a lot of shearing. I guess I'm moss, gonna put plants all over it, it's gonna be, gonna be good. Um, yeah, if I'm still awake when you're streaming, I will. I forgot to say goodbye. I'll pop in, but otherwise, I will watch it if it is available post stream. Bye bye now.
Give me a sec. How's it go? Glasses up. Ma Mazel Tov. We go. We kick it. Back. At tonight, it's gonna be a good night. It's done. I guess Black Eyed Peas. Alright. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Thank you, boys. And ladies, and all else for stopping by for this weird impromptu stream. Have a good day and have a good stream, Liss.